they were alive. <laughs> oh shit. Hail princesses, princes, and non-binary royalty, and know that between the years when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities, and the years of the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of when shining kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars. Into this realm hither came barbed tales, swords in hand, thieves, reavers, slayers, with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirth to tread the jeweled thrones of the earth beneath their sandaled feet. Vorpal Tales bids you welcome, Traveler, to Session 4 of Conan Adventures in an Age Undreamed of by Modiphius Entertainment. I am scribe, lorekeeper, and sorcerer of some renown known as Elder Chekos across the lands of the internet, and I will be your narrator for the first saga in our hard-boring adventures, the Saga of the Crimson Isles. By the grace of Mitra, our motley crew of carousers are here for your entertainment tonight, so I will allow them to introduce themselves, tell us who you are, and where you can be found at. I'm at Space Lord PJs. That's where you can find me on the internet. I am playing the Blue Baron, and he will take a third of anything you're willing to offer in exchange for a pencil. I don't think I they had pencil. pencils in Conan, so I mean, a quill, pretty impressive, with That's... ink made from your own blood. Oh shit! Wooden Question. writing oh, implement. Oh. Is the pencil sharpened? I don't think it matters in, in, as part of the transaction. Yeah. I mean, it does matter because if I gotta stab, you know, somebody if they're screwing me over in this contract, I want to make sure that quill is sharp. You're you've all lost all of your coin purses. It's strange. I don't know how that happened. Oh, huh. man, that's weird. Um, yeah. So well, I will just threaten you with the quill to get your money then, in exchange for your life. Oh, the Baron's gone. Like, yeah, what? Where was he? What happened? Who knows? Who's Time's next? up, Steve. So go I, save oh, this. So I am. I am Steve. <laughs> Steve, am I? Um, you can find me on the internet at Voodoo Arcade, and tonight I will be playing. P P oh my, Petrusa. Petrusa. <laughs> you forgot Priest your own character name. <laughs> I, I we're really gonna have a meeting after the top. show about Steve, guys. We might have to schedule an intervention. Without yeah, looking at Astral Tabletop, I will give you a dollar if you can name your character's last name. Ooh. Yare. All right, you get a dollar. Spell it. Uh, Y A R E. I can remember that part. I was. Oh. Okay. I am. I am playing Petrusa Yare, the uh, the priest of Mitra, benevolent priest of Mitra. And I am Dwayne. Tonight. Oh, wait. No. On the internet, you can find me at Made of Kimchi. Uh, <laughs> I, today is a bad day. <laughs> uh, tonight, I will be playing Einar, everyone's lovable douchebag. I am Patrick. You can find me on the internet at Patty Shakes. And tonight, I am the most loved and awesome pirate captain in the Seven Seas, or however many seas the world of Conan has, Lysander. Hi, I'm Pinky underscore 88 on Twitter. Uh, tonight, I'll be playing Luciana the Red. Uh, I'm looking forward to an awesome, interesting adventure. Hopefully, there'll be lots of stabbing, fighting, cursing, and a few bad puns on the way. It, it, it is me. You're the one yeah, the I think you. I think you're the last one. Oh, well, hmm. I see. Save the thing for last, because I'm not the best or the worst. So anyway, I am ever. My pronouns are they them. You can find me on the internet as Changeling Ever. And tonight, I will be playing Freya Ymir's daughter, whose pronouns are she and her. The end. Excellent. Now that you have become acquainted with us, allow us to humbly offer you our wares, fellow travelers. Please remember to follow us here on Twitch, like and subscribe, and leave comments if you are so inclined. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch as Vorpal Tales and on our website, VorpalTales.com. While you're on the website, you'll find a link to join our Discord for free and for fun. Come hang out. Um, a special thank you tonight to Modifius Entertainment for being awesome to the people who play their games. 
and to Astro Tabletop for providing the virtual tabletop we use to roll bones and play our awesome sound effects. Last but not least, thanks to my brother at N8Mid for an endless list of custom Astro Tabletop character sheets, including tonight's. And now that you have perused our goods, have a drink, sit and rest, and allow us to regale you with a tale of sorcery and high adventure. Lysander, if you please. Yar. We made it into the Virago, while the Cuervo, my one true love, had begun to sink. To sink. Luciana, me first mate, wakes up on her bed, floating in the ocean to find us battling with ghosts, skeletons, and reanimated corpses. The battle, it is ferocious, and the enemy, it is unrelenting. We hear a deep, evil laugh from within the ship as we defeat the final skeletons and temporarily allay the ghosts. We make headway within the ship, in great part due to the suspiciously sorcerous priest of Mitra. Strangely dark magics. As we journey below deck, we encounter our darkness that also muffles sound, and the party is unintentionally, by the players anyhow, split, foiled by fairy fire. Much to the GM's delight, of course. It grows darker as a strange magic is suddenly cast by the ship's most dangerous occupant, our foe, and it summons an outer reach's horror. After defeating the summoned horror, the crew faced the summoner, the captain of the Virago. He is none other than Sedon, the Ghoul King. Our dear Baron makes a deal with the ghost crew of the ship. They surrender in exchange for their freedom, but at what cost? The Baron gains knowledge of necromantic ritual to place their souls in 12 new bodies. The final fight with the captain of Virago commences, and we emerge victorious, despite, have, despite Einar having hidden a box during the last and roughest parts. The eerie Protrusa gains an item he has been seeking, a mysterious box. The crew gains all the booty aboard, with the Baron keeping a few special pieces to himself, unbeknownst to the rest. Incredibly, as the curse is broken, the ship revitalizes itself to its previous beauty, if not more glorious than before. With that, we make heading for the Crimson Isle. Audible gasp. Now let's get something straight. Einar wasn't hiding in a box. He was gaining advantage. Uh, yeah. That total cover, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So are you in the crow's nest, Einar? It's been a week since our last adventure. Uh, and going back to a crow's nest. Did, did I don't mean to sleep. I mean, you know, has he decided, screw it, I could be a lookout because you're a really short crew. Well, yeah. Did Slim Jim make it? He made it. Uh, would you like to know the names of the crew members that are still alive? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have we have Slim Jim up in the crow's nest. We've got Ragnar, the one that Einar puked on. Uh, Tumultuous, me saw bones and bodyguard. We've got Jones. I wish he wasn't still around. Then also the ones you haven't met or learned their names of yet. We've got Barnabas Barnacle Brain, Alexios the Anchor, Just Carry. Domdis Dolphin Lover. You should ask him about that name sometime. Hold on. Did you say his name is Just Carry? Yeah. Just Carry. As in, just, like, just, he has a no. good sense of justice, or he's just. Nope. 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 He's, 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 he's just he be, Carry. He be, he be okay. Just Carry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shit. Dundas yep. Dolphin Lover, ask him about that name sometime. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Don't want to ask him about that name sometime. Ezekiel the Eel, Gorgeous Glenda, Hilarious Harold, he tells the best jokes, and Iris the Immune. You should ask her what she'd be immune to. Not I don't care about any of those, but I want to know why is that one guy named the Anchor? 
Yes, I really want to know about the anchor. Can I talk to on, the anchor? On on our rum drinking team, he be the anchor. <laughs> there it is. Uh, where did my... do, you, do you play flip mug on this boat? What be that? That sounds like a good way to spill rum. <laughs> Flipstein. <laughs> Flipstein. That also sounds like a good way to spill rum. <laughs> Okay, it is after dark, but not yet the middle of the night. Seven days into your voyage on the ghost ship. Starting with Einar, where are you at? What are you doing? It's the equivalent of 11 p.m. Uh, I suppose Einar is at the bow of the ship, looking off into the distance, hopefully looking for land. That's why I asked about the crow's nest. No, I, I, no, he's mm, maybe if Slim Jim wouldn't have made it. Okay, he would attempt that, but uh, he, he, no. So, are you doing like a King of the World situation here? You know, I, I'll do the you know like like one hand on the rope and like one hand <laughs> looking out. <laughs> now, before so this is a pirate musical to you, yeah. <laughs> Before I uh, ask you or the rest of you what you're doing, Patty, please describe in detail, since your crew is so low, what two jobs each person got that they were unable to talk their way out of. In any order you oh, okay. prefer. Uh, so, like, uh, just the people here? Yep, just the party. Uh, okay. What did you force them to do uh, to keep the ship going? Grocer sure. is better. Uh, yes, no. Uh, Einar is our bill trap, 100%. Um, without doubt. Uh, he also is a poop deck sweeper. So, you know, he's just covered in shit 24-7. <laughs> yes, it's awesome. <laughs> Luciana uh, resumes her usual first mate duties. Uh, no change in job there. Uh, Baron the Blue, uh, I've kind of res come to respect a little bit of, uh, of his uh, wordplay. So I've actually got him down and uh, I'm letting him do uh, some navigation as well as uh, um, assistant reaver, as in he gets to sh help me shout order to this crew as well as beat people in line who do not carry out said order. 10 points. Um, uh, the priest of Mitra, uh, he, he just gets a day job. Uh, and then he, I let him kind of go back and do his spooky woo stuff in the hold with his potion ingredients and spooky box I gave him. And so what you're saying, that. his job is please don't curse us. Yeah, that plus don't blow a hole in my brand new ship. Um, so kind of during the day, I'm just like, hey, if you could like do some of the rigging in the masts and then like you can you're excused for lunchtime. I, 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 I of course, I wish to help. And I want to just like move a rope from like one crate to another just kind of be like yes this was a good day's work i'll allow uh, that but there are caveats okay <laughs> you don't know nothing about ships so you're like i will just move these ropes and you pick it up and it unspools and unspools for 400 feet and it takes you two hours to ravel it back up and then when you do go to pick it up you're sweating and hot and beat red in the face because it weighs like 200 pounds worth of 400 foot of rope ship rope Boats are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, Yzmir's daughter, uh, she scares me a bit, um, but I'm not going to let her know that. I'm not going to give her that satisfaction. So I put her on the opposite end of the ship from me, so I have to see her the least amount of time. Um, so I kind of let her do co-lookout slash um, uh, chef duties. Because that way I never, she's in front of the ship and then blow down decks in the ship. I never have to see her. Okay. We are having intestines for dinner. Ah, uh, shit. I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> <laughs> it is a favorite from my homeland. Yeah, so that's, that's what you're told. And you're, you're terrified all day until you go down and you realize dinner time is just sausage. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's actually better than we usually have on the ship, so... <laughs> Usually it's like sawdust biscuits and like salt water that's slightly less salty. All right. 
And what what jo what are you doing at 11 o'clock p.m., uh, Luciana? Wait, what job did you give me? Uh, Yell at the crew to... and move paper oh. around. Yeah, yeah, you are you are you get to be accountant slash navigator and assistant reaver. Awesome. Reaver is the motivator on the boat. The crew is a lot happier despite having their pay cut by 5%. No one knows how that happened. <laughs> also, <laughs> I will actually, if somebody like gets in trouble and gets flogged, I'll offer them, like if they give me another cut of their pay, I'll try to convince the captain not to flog them and give them like some other lesser punishment as part of their punishment, like a lesser detail. <clears throat> Is it punishment or punishment? Why not both? You know, suddenly oh, okay. I feel like my ship is working much more efficiently than it used to. <laughs> Luciana, what are you doing at 11 p.m.? Uh, Luciana is doing a stroll um, of everything, making sure everything's on tip-top order, nothing's missing, nothing's out of place, all the ropes are in tied in where they need to go, the mast is looking good, there's no tears in the, in the sails, the making sure all the crew members are either sleeping or, you know, doing the things they're supposed to do. Kind of just doing a sweep of the area. Petrusa. Um, just my general, um, below deck doing my potions, um, for the next day. Um, what else, what else, what else? Going over any uh, lore that I have of the Crimson Isles, um, like shorelines, where I think the best place to um, set anchor would be uh, once we find it. I, I know we don't have any definitive maps or anything because no one's ever been there, but like you know, the lore and the the going the, the scouring of tombs. Baron. Um, I feel like he's gotten a small dice game going down in the hole with some of the crew and he's cheating the fuck out of them for all their money Freya hmm 11 at night I'm in a world me? that runs on sunlight has no electricity oh sleeping Lysander Some, someone finally said it Yes. What are you doing? Well, uh, as you all might have noticed, I, while giving you all one shitty job, I have given you all at least one important job. Um, as well as you've noticed, I've been giving more and more duties <laughs> to my uh, first mate. So you actually don't see much of Lysander on the boat these days. Uh, I am in my room just kind of... Uh, the only person I'll let see me is uh, uh, Luciana and uh, Tumultuous. And I'm just kind of uh, chilling, in, chilling in my captain's quarters. Occasionally I'll stick my head out and yell at someone who's goofing off. But yeah, 11 p.m. at night, I'm meeting with Tumultuous again to examine Luci my hand. Luciana, I need you. Oh, so you're not in your room sleeping? I'd be my captain's quarters. Okay. Luciana, I'm yes. going to say you're sleeping. I'll slightly override you. I'm going to need Aww. you to make a uh, awareness check. Or it's not awareness here. I really need to memorize words. Observation? Yep. Yay! I knew a word. Nailed it. Okay. One success. You're doing your rounds, and on the last of your rounds, you go to check on the captain. He's asleep, but he's thrashing, and he's crying out in his sleep. It's very muffled, but you could tell if he was awake, he'd be screaming and yelling and whatnot. It's like lip-sawing around, moaning in his sleep. I get nosy, and I go in the room. Nothing changes unless you interact with it. Because it's a nightmare. I try to shake him awake. Okay. When you go to shake him, 
Uh, <clears throat> he throws his hands into the air and then rolls over and resumes the fetal position. Yes, swear to God, for a second there, one of his hands was sprouting fucking tentacles from inside of it. Purplish and black and writhing and worm-like, except for suckers. She takes the blanket, covers the top of his shoulders, walks away. I've got to stop drinking so much. I'm seeing shit. Einar, observation check. Oh. Compli com two complications because it's the middle of the night and you don't have any lights. So you need I three successes. I get the worst. <laughs> I'm really letting this grog affect my my duties on this ship. Einar, nine complications because you're Einar. Fucking problems, man. <laughs> what I roll? One success. You notice nothing. And you hit a reef! No, I'm kidding. Uh, Oops! Don't do my boy Slim Jim like that! What's the matter with you? Oh no, puppy! One moment! Is that what, the, is that what see that why was? the puppy was yelling? Yes! I do not know why. Just wanted some head pads. Nope, that was not that kind of guy. That was... that was an ouch yipe. Yeah. Yes. Poor Holly. <laughs> Holly. We will say Lysander wakes up but doesn't notice his own hand but does see Luciana doing the Homer back out into the bush. <laughs> I check my dog quickly and you can roleplay that scene. Did you be needing something? Uh, a new lover, maybe. <sighs> I don't. Are, Are you drunk? Eyes? Yes. Wait. Wait. No. May maybe. I. I. Yeah. I think Freya put something in the ale during her time. You know, she dinner was great and everything, but I. I, I are you doing okay, Cap? Oh, me. I, uh, oh, I've noticed uh, you've been a little, a little a li off a little lately. And how how you mean for that? You're not as much of an asshole as usual. I, and I mean this. Listen, listen. I, I, way, sir. I still be a salty dog. All right. It's just uh, well, I'm I'm, I'm getting a little older now, Luciana, and well, I soon this will be your ship, and I just want to make sure that. Everything's in order. Be in order for you. I appreciate that, Captain. But it'll still I... always be your ship. Even if I might be in charge. It'll still this always be 99% your... of this ship. How do you have oh a fortune God. from Tim? <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, uh, just uh, I make, I'm making sure the blanket's covering at least like for my chest down. Uh, just... Uh, Maybe lay off the lay off the grog a little bit tonight and save save it for tomorrow. We are sailing aye, aye, into liter literally uncharted waters. Aye, aye, Captain. Dismissed. Did okay. you just gaslight the fuck out of Luciana? <laughs> what? No. Nothing's wrong with him. She's seeing shit. It's the rum. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Stop drinking okay, so much, like, and I'm this, not as mean because, you know, it's going to be her ship one day. This team is not full of liars and backstabbers. Come on now. Yeah. That's, that's Freya. Everything is oh, fine. Goodness, member of this team. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I mean, good to the know. Baron always tells you when he's screwing you. I mean, he's honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I also don't know what you mean. Petrusa is a benevolent priest of the sun god Mitra. That would imply that a priest is benevolent. Yes. However, Slim Jim in the crow's nest does make his three successes and yells, Land Ho! Captain hears that. Why would you call Land Ho? <sighs> She's a very lovely lady. I shout out, Luciana, get the crew ready. 
Everyone to stations. Sails up. Anchor away. Wake up the priest. <laughs> Sails up. Anchor away. <laughs> He's the best captain. Stop it. What do you know? Hiding in barrels, sleeping in the crow's yeah. nest. You, you can't even climb the rigging over there. <laughs> so what? What happens in that scenario? The sails get furled, so the ship it. stops moving. Up! <laughs> yeah, come on now. And then... Listen, and my then, ship and then, has its own lingo. And sure. then four crew members jump off the left, four yeah, jump off yeah, the right, I... and they push while they swim. <laughs> the galleon. Yes. <laughs> That's how ships work. I see work. nothing wrong with this. <laughs> right, so... It weighs less because it's in the water, Steve. Come on. Yeah, come Read on. Read a book. <laughs> uh, I, 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 yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All you see is shadows in shadows, Lysander. Not, not Lysander. Yar, uh, what's the worthless guy's name again, you guys? I, Einar. Right. Einar. Yeah. Einar, right. It's a forgettable name. Einar, you're on the deck, so you don't notice anything except shadows and more and more shadows until you realize the darker shadow is the landmass. It's still several miles off. But every now and then, as you start, because you're coming around this way, you're not the, the landmass is over here, right? You're going like this. Uh, as you start to go farther forward and around it, you start seeing flashes of light until. An hour later, speed ships move. Uh, you actually go from small flashes of light to brighter flashes of light until you realize that there's a mountain range on the western side of the island. And in that mountain range at the top is a raging storm. You can see lightning flashes of purple and blue lightning. And when they flash, you can see debris and dust tossed up into the air like there is in a tornado. But it's a stationary cyclone just circling something large towards the top of the mountain range. By this time, Lysander's on the deck with Luciana. And Petrusa, you, you notice the crew reacting to something. Um, <clears throat> kind of walk up and look in the direction that they're kind of gawking. And I Einar will say, there's a maelstrom on land. You see the maelstrom, Petrusa, and you realize that's it. That's the city of the dead in the center of the storm. No maelstrom, Einar. That is our destination. Crap. I'll just smile like benevolently. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> I hope your scrolls have got some ways to get us through that thing. I don't feel like flying. No, Einar. That's, so what, then the... I brought, that's what I brought you for. And then the clouds part. And it's a full moon and the moon shines. and You can actually see the edges of the islands. And you can see that a few miles ahead on the what eastern sh on the this is from your point of view east of you on that shoreline, uh, it does look like there's an area you could anchor. But as the moonlight and the stars start lighting up everything around the shoreline, you realize uh, there's stuff sticking out of the water all over the place, wrecked holes. Uh oh, what what was that? Wrecked holes of other oh, ships. Oh, holes. I thought you said holes. And suddenly the water starts getting choppier, like it does, you know, when you're approaching land or an island or sandbars or shoals. In the middle of the night. Einar has, <coughs> heard, has heard of boats. So he will instinctively say, Shit! Brace for impact! <laughs> No you, one pay you, you ignore all the you ignore all the snickering behind you. <clears throat> um, I brace for impact. <laughs> and then you hear an unnaturally high screeching keening noise. 
like something evil screeching and yelling and then there's more of the screeching and yellings and then you look up and you see black figures in the sky with massive wings they seem bipedal but they're not quite humanoid a uh, swarm of maybe 20 of them flying directly for the ship Baron what do you do we what do I do <laughs> you're all on the deck at this point um he'll actually start shouting commands to the crew to like man their position their positions get their arrows get their flame arrows lights and arrows but that's so you don't yell at them to protect you I'm kind of impressed surprised it didn't. He Come on like, down, I've got a deal for you. I mean, he's got a 1% stake in the ship secretly. <laughs> and so he wants to protect the ship, but he feels like if everybody sort of works together, he alone will be protected as well. So, safety in numbers. Plus he kind okay. of likes bossing people around since the captain gave him the commands. <clears throat> That's fair. Okay. Um, Luciana, what do you do? Can I roll command just because it's there? Please. Sure. <laughs> I really want to push the button. One success. Yay! You successfully command the crew. Luciana! <laughs> A one gets you no flare. Right? It does not. Um... <laughs> well, while, uh... Baron is shouting off orders. She's kind of like glaring at him, like, "What the fuck? That's my job. What the fuck are you doing? Like, I'm first mate. Like, why?" Luciana, but roll intimidate. Like... <laughs> Let's see. Where is my button? Yeah, where? Where? I be? think you might have to use uh, persuasion. Let me double check. Or intimidation. I have command. Which is and higher. Also persuade. They're the same. Yeah, roll persuade. Because you would be scarier, less ordery. More. <laughs> I'll run you through. I'll drink you like rum. Ah, I got a zero. Yeah, they're listening to the Baron. You're kind of mad about it. Einar, what do you do? I'll fix that later. <laughs> D does Einar actually see these? Dark, yes, everyone winged, does. winged creatures. You can see them and hear them. It's possible not to. So, Einar has learned the smallest amount of discipline. I mean, like the most minuscule amount of discipline <laughs> while swabbing this deck for the past day. But fighting undead, screeching horrors, and now there's shit flying out of the air. Abominations, yes. Yeah, he's a little pissed. So as soon as the Baron says battle stations or, you know, get to your positions, he will run for the closest pitch barrel and dip his arrows in it. Burn it down. Lysander, what are you doing? Uh, I'll stay by the wheel. And uh, the crew that's not getting battle ready, I'll have them uh, light up the the ship, all the torches on the ship, all the lights on the ship, uh, so that we can have better sight lines and see our enemy easier. And then I'll just kind of get ready to do whatever needs to be done. Patrusa, I um, I would like to try to remember any notes or things I read see if I can recall what these are um, and provide intel to the people fighting about what to do and how to get past them. Information's my weapon. Oh, that was muted. Make a lore check. Face roll that keyboard. Yes. Oh, damn, I still got fucked up armor. No, that'd be fixed by now. It's been a week. Oh, sweet. That's wrong. All of your wounds connection. would be healed by now, also. Oh, yeah, score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Don't forget about your three fortune points in these boats. Yes. Because I took my 20 dooms. Better take the fortune. Mm. 
Did I get any? I didn't get any votes last week. Yeah, I can't remember if I did or not either. Uh, you did because I gave you one. Okay, I'll take that extra fortune point then. Nope. All right. Uh, I have two successes. They are referred to as Bayaki, abominations of the outer dark. They have no faces, yet they can still see you. And they have vicious, devilish tails that they will use to gently caress your skin and drive you mad with the sensations it causes. Hmm. Also, they'll lift you into the air and then drop you on a sharp, hard, pointy things. Hmm. Cool. They have no limit to the height they can attain, unlike real birds. They can take you to the outer dark if you cannot break free. Okay. Um... In the common else? parlance, they can fly into space. They can fly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have a weakness with two successes that I know of? Or something that they're afraid of? No. No. Okay. You hack them till they die. <laughs> cool. Got it. Okay. And you banish them if you know the spell that was used to summon them. So That's the only real weakness. They are... Um, these are birdmen from the outer dark. Do not let them touch you. Contact with your skin will drive you mad, and they wish to carry you to your death. Do not let them grab you. And then I'll prep my crossbow. And uh, Freya, what do you do? Hmm. Preparing for battle with my. What does that mean besides licking your axe? Um, definitely licking the axe. Um, Gotta make sure it's sharp. Got, yes, precisely. And and I have to get it excited, you know. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> also, preparing my hunting bow. <laughs> like getting it strung up and everything, knocking an arrow. Okay. Is there anything special you want the crew to be doing? Sianna Baron and Lysander, you can work that out amongst yourselves. Uh, just light up the ship as much as possible. Get prep fire arrows. Uh, load artillery on the ship. Also, I think some shields would be good in order. Uh, if possible. For them, like to have a shield with them, so if like one of those things comes swiping down, they can put a shield up, so like they can cover themselves, sort of. It's not a bad idea. Since they're not supposed, they can't, you know. It's not a good idea if they get touched. Uh, I mean, Baron feels like he's given his orders, so he's good. Crew's in order. Yes. All right. <clears throat> you all prepare for the monsters to assault the ship, but as they, they circle above the ship while you're preparing, and then they swoop down. As they swoop down, you hear that really loud, echoing wooden creak, like every bo uh, board and bone in the ship is creaking all at once. And then that bass thump sound as it reverts to ghost form, and the eerie light starts diffusing the entire ship. And all the parts that self repair to rot away. And the sails are just flaps of fabric. And all the holes and cloth are filled in by the eerie translucent ghost materials. And the Bayaki stop diving, circle around for a moment, make that horrible scream, and then fly back to the island. Hmm. What the? Hmm. No. It worked, yeah. Petrusa. That's why you needed this ship. Ah, they won't attack this ship. The ship is already dead. It's nothing to kill. There's nothing to kill. Uh, but now that the ship is fully lit up, you can see the carcasses and bones of destroyed ships of all shapes and makes everywhere littering this coast. Not just destroyed by Bayaki, but it's full of reefs and sandbars and coral, and there's no lighthouse, and you're heading right for the shore. Captain, I believe it's time for you to show your skill. I 
Slim Jim up in the crow's nest. I'm already here, damn it! I, well, I, I assumed he would move from there for, for battle stations. Um, in that case, he's like, I just climbed down. Damn it! I just, yeah, I, I, I know. It'd be a bitch sometimes. As Petrusa kind of finishes that this moment and he kind of realizes the ship is what saved him from the Biaki, he's just like, God, that fucking worked. Jesus. <laughs> What, what 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 was that? What was that? What? Hail Mitra on this fine day. <laughs> uh, yes, Mitra that, has truly blessed us. That be what I thought you <laughs> <just> said. <laughs> All right, Patty. So uh, we're using a combination of Slim Jim up in the crow's nest and uh, Luciana uh, and um, what's that say would be my eyes. Uh, you said uh, Freya was going to be your eyes. Yeah, yeah. So using combination of Luciana and Freya's eyes, and Jim up in the crow nest, and myself at the wheel, I will attempt to guide us uh, through through this horrible boat trap. Luciana and Freya, mm-hmm. observation checks. Luciana first. I took care of Slim Jim's pet. That's it. Cool. Lysander has a highly like wrapped up. Are you right kidding hand me? Now. Oh. You have a highly what? What do I feel like? I have a highly wrapped up right hand now. Oh, that's okay. Clutch, that, that's clutching uh, my necklace. And Are I'm these with rolling my left hand. correctly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, got a zero. Freya. What is I your, do obs- also. your observation number? I got a zero as well. Nope. Oh boy. That's why I'm just like it. Mm. Oh, making fun of did, me. I, did, I got one. Did, <laughs> what's your observation like? Um, the number under TN. Seven. Uh, the one at the very end is a nine. Okay. Yeah. So you're. Yeah. Okay. You want a fourteen and eleven. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, Tian is a nine. Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of like... Okay. (laughs) Yes, there is water by the ocean. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) So... Nailed it. You got three successes. The real question is... Is water wet? You got three successes from your lookout. Which means you oh, only have God, two Sanjim. complications instead of five. So oh, you only good. need to make three successes on your sailing check. Fine. I will absolutely spend a fortune on this. Okay. 100%. So that gives you two. Uh, sailing. Sailing. Where are you? Sailing. There we go. One success. One success. Nailed it. <laughs> Wait. You rolled a five and got one success. Uh, yeah, I rolled a thirteen and a five and got one success. Yes. What's your sailing at? Out of curiosity. Uh, Eleven. Hmm? Uh, I have a one experience, one focus, and an eleven. Okay. And three is enough. You're able to navigate around the treacherous shoreline as close as you can get. It's impossible to get close enough to walk wade to shore. You're going to have to disembark in the uh, dinghy. Mm. Okay, that's yeah. I fi- I figured. Or if you're taking your crew, also you're going to need both things. Yeah. Um. I I'm going to use for my fortune. I use Athelos's fortune point he gave me earlier. By the way, thank you, Athelos. Um, I'm going to leave a skeleton crew behind on the ship, and so we'll we'll still use both dinghies. Um, How many are you taking of your existing crew? Uh, let's see. So we've got twelve, you know, twelve NPC crew. I will take uh, eight of them. I'll leave behind. Uh, I'll leave behind Slim Jim, uh, uh, Barnabas Barnacle Brain. Uh, <laughs> uh, just Carrie. And Jones and Ragnar. 
Baron Blue, I'm going to need you to make eight persuasion checks. Eight persuasion checks? You made a okay. deal with, with, with spiritual entities that you must fulfill. Oh, yeah. We're going to find out how many of these eight crew going on shore you can secretly dispatch. God damn, one motherfucker. Success. <laughs> you only need one success for each roll. Three successes. Oh my god. So That's can I just four. carry those two over to... Are those... Nope, one each, because this is for their souls, yo. <laughs> that one you just got really so well. So I just burn those momentum? Yep. One success. Well, you don't success. burn them, they go into the group pool. Two success. Two success. One, two, three, cool. four, five, six. Two success. One success. Count up those extras for the group in half. That's one, two, three, five, uh, six, seven. Seven. Seven extras. Mark it, whoever's doing group pool market. All right. Is that why I had momentum on here? <laughs> Who's rowing? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. I was wondering why I, I had will... momentum in my character notes. <laughs> With four crew in each dinghy, you're gonna need two more rowers. You need six dinghies and big. So that's one in Luciana's I, boat. I. Yeah. We're gonna say. This is the way I'm looking at the screen. Baron, Luciana, and Einar in one boat. You, uh, Freya, Petrusa, and Lysander in the other. So knowing that the Baron probably won't row, Einar will row. What Mark about Boat B? Gives a, uh, a dice to Sean. Don't, don't need it. Thanks. <laughs> what about Boat B? Who's rowing? In other words, Freya and Lysander. Are you going to row or are you going to try to make the cleric do it? Oh, I'll uh, totally row. All right. I'm not. I'm. I am not as strong. I'm an old man, and I'm the captain. God damn it! I will not be rowing. <laughs> I am, my hands must be free for the turning of pages and the. Um, no, you're pray. gonna. You're, you'll be rowing, lad. Mitchell, Mitchell requires my hands to <laughs> praise him. That's great. You can praise him while you're holding an oar. <laughs> It'll be a new form of worship. You can batten it when you get back to the shoulder. Very so, well. Oh, he gave in. I was going to make you roll off. All right. <laughs> I'm going to need... Uh, yeah. Resistance checks from all rowers. How did I know that? Starting I with... The, starting like with... Like, with uh, Einar this time. Okay. So I did Let's accidentally go. roll and I got hey. a zero again? Doesn't count. Because I didn't tell you to roll. Okay. I got one success. But I'm sure that I'm at some douchebag penalty. <laughs> Luciana! <laughs> your turn. No, you only need one success for rowing. Okay. You're avoiding fatigue, is what's happening. Alright. Two successes. Add your extra to the pool. It's up to eight. Eight. Your max is twelve. Double the party size. Petrusa, roll it. Just um, side note. Okay. I'm Just side note. I realized I named five people to leave behind. When I said I was going to leave four people, so to clarify, I left behind Slim Jim, Ragnar, Jones, and Barnabas Barnacle Brain. Okay. We have Dolphin Lover and the Anchor with us. Yes, yeah, so we have Tumultuous, and Alexius the Anchor, Just Carry, Dondus Dolphin Lover, Ezekiel the Eel, Gorgeous Glenda, Hilarious Harold, and Iris the Immune with us. How do you remember all those names? I have it written down. <laughs> <laughs> Never admit that, Patrick. Never admit that. <laughs> I'm a captain. I no, remember no. all my crew. No, no, no. Lysander has it written down. <laughs> oh my God! It's on his hand, isn't it? He's got a uh, the barnacle. <laughs> the infected one. Bob. <laughs> Makes the no, crew wear name that would tags. be super unfortunate. Okay. Patricia, what are you doing? Oh, dear. Making so, zeros, I see. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, I... How about you uh, take some of this momentum, maybe? Or... 
Can you? Can we use that for this? Must use momentum and fortune points in advance. Conan's uh, an asshole. Right. So you have a plus I mean, one complication for the foreseeable future, Petrus, on any physical activity, not mental. Okay. I mean, sure. you pulled something I, I, bad. I'm trying really Ooh. hard. Um, it's over here. It's no. in your lower back, and it went yeah, pop. But, and nice actually, looked at you and widened his eyes. <laughs> yeah, you actually do see like Petrusa is trying. Like he he's getting it. Like one of the like all joking aside with the whole turning of pages and praising Mitra, one of the aspects of worshiping Mitra and Conan is like labor and like the glorification of like your day's work and stuff like that. So like this would actually be something he would get into. Um, and it was trying really hard. Um, and then yeah, he totally blows out like a muscle in his back, like on the first uh the first row the sore is really big traps just oh. just right away just oh 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 oh, oh my god <laughs> oh. Uh, it's, it's that one where it's like just the breathing hurts like oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like luciana's just like moving with like ease are you are different you different boats okay over there, priest? you can't even see you can him still yell damn can she hear him? Nope. Damn. Waves are hitting reefs at sandbars. It's really loud. Freya, go. You can see their boat, but it's just torchlight. You can't see any people. Hmm. Oh no. Freya, you also pull a muscle. That's literally every roll has been a zero. I know. It's kind of amazing. Oh, did Devin, did tell Devin, did Devin go turn to on work. Zoom? Oh, I was gonna say, did he touch the? T did he touch your stuff? That's it. That's it. I'm gonna murder him. <laughs> Do it. You need a clean <laughs> ritual. Uh, yes, I need to. Um, Do you have I, any I, incense? Cleanse your cleanse your area right now. I need our scion, who has good relations with the kami, to come over here and and uh, talk to the kami and write out. Oh, you need some girthy candles, also. Fair enough. Make sure you have whoa, 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 candles. whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't look at Petrusa's roll. I was only looking at Bray's. Petrusa, you failed and rolled a twenty. Thank you for the doom. Ah, uh, I did roll a twenty. Damn oh. it. Oh. Mm. How does that work? If you roll a 20, 20s. you either get a complication, or if you fail, I get two. Mm, okay. Yeah. High numbers are bad in this game. Yeah. They are. And yeah, your 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 stuff's working for you. It's just you're rolling really bad. You haven't rolled under a 15 yet. Yeah. It's D&D yeah. night. You'd you be on fire. Yeah, yeah, your last roll was a 19 <laughs> and an 18. Like yeah. Any game would be amazing, and in this game, it's like the worst <laughs> thing you can do. You want lower than your TN. Yep. So... <laughs> You are wrong. Is stand for target number? Uh, TN stands sure. for target yeah. number. Yes. Freya is is rowing her heart out, and she's just she's putting all she's got into it. Then all of a sudden she freezes up and keels over because her sciatica just kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> she realized she didn't have the oars in the water. And then she looks <laughs> around. This <laughs> is giving it her all. <laughs> We're not going nowhere. And then she looks around. <laughs> And she looks at all these men and she's like, mm -mm, and rows through the pain. Oh. I was going to say, she's rowing harder than it, literally anyone else. It's just the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> she's working against everyone else. Oh my God, that's that's canon now. Thank you, Patty. She's like, wow, like no one, no one rows as fast as I do. I'm the best rower on this D. And, and she is she like the other the way. other rowers are having to like compensate for for <laughs> the just the pure strength with which she's rowing the wrong. They don't say anything because they're terrified of you, but they're just like, God, why is she working against us? <laughs> Boat randomly starts to spin and no one can figure out why. <laughs> <laughs> like a little circle. <laughs> It's about is that time. Nord, is this a Nordheimer thing? Just like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's about that time when the shore is in sight. And the water starts churning with deep ones that come scrambling out of the water trying to climb into your dinghies. Oh. Roll initiative! Oh. oh, great. We don't have initiative. Wait, Why do you keep saying that? Because he wants to trick us. He wants to see Because that's what I'm going to tell you when I want you to figure out your order. 
I will go last. S discuss your initiative. Yes. Yeah, that just sounds dumb. I'm going to keep saying roll. Thank you. <laughs> Conversate your initiative. <laughs> Deliberate go, your I initiative. <laughs> I'll go nope. second to last. It's going to be roll forever. I will uh, go for Lysander. Love that everyone wants to go last. I will go first. Who's after Einar? Um, I'll go after Einar. Who's after Petrusa? The bear. Crew. Crew goes in with me. They count as the Oh, NPC. okay. Then the Baron. Fre then Freya, Luciana, me, Baron. Is that yeah. okay? Is that okay with everyone? I don't want to speak for people. Okay. As long okay. as I go before. I think we. Sandra, I don't think we've but... quite finished out our perfect uh, initiative meta yet. So well, yeah, I don't well, think there really is one. Like all kind of I think we all what kind we're of just. We all kind of just like have. Especially this, it's gonna be like I stab, I stab, I stab. Yeah. I call forth Mitra's power. I stab, I stab, I stab. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> well, I, I, I just think it would be canon for Luciana to always go to the captain because she's like texting him, so she's like always gonna want to go first and make sure she takes the hits. Cause sure. The captain. Sure. sure. Oh, also we have a uh, spooky woo for Sean. Spooky. Oh, Right. Searching this PDF is a bad idea. Stand by. I'm literally waiting with bated breath. What are you looking for? May I assist? For sure. Wait, are we on shore yet? The monster. No. no, you're nowhere near the shore yet. Okay. Are they 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 are lumbering into our dinghies, or are they still rising? From rising the from the yeah from the depths. That's why I'm looking it up. I'm going to give you the proper description. Old Billy Riley was a dancing master. Old Billy Riley, oh, old Billy Riley. Old Billy Riley, master of a droger. Old Billy Riley, oh, old Billy Riley, master of a droger bound for Antigua. Old Billy Riley, oh, <laughs> old Billy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley has a nice young doctor. Oh, Billy Riley. Oh, <laughs> Billy Riley. Oh, there's some implications there. I'm gonna oh, be Miss Riley, little Miss Riley. Oh, Billy <laughs> Riley. Oh, oh, Billy Riley. It's for Sean redeeming. Yeah, I was like, I was know you were redeeming something and killing time all at once, but. Your singing was so enthralling, I actually stopped looking while you were singing. <laughs> <laughs> so we need verse two. Okay, hold on. One, un momento. No, 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 uh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm looking at hold the on. manliest high seas shit. <laughs> hold on. We get verse two if somebody redeems the points. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you have to sing while you're waiting for me to look this up. Ooh. I don't. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, Patrice, or um, the person name <laughs> that I dope. forgot randomly. <laughs> wow, better <laughs> worse than me. Yeah. As I was going to Derby, it was on a market day. I met the finest ramsers that ever fed upon he. That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, a lie, a lie. This ram and I got drunk, sir, as drunk as drunk could be. And when we sobered up, sir, we were far away out on sea. This wonderful old ram, sir, was a playful as a kid. He swallowed the captain's spyglass along with the boson's vid. That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, a lie, a lie. A morning on the poop, sir, a four-eight buzz was struck. He climbed up to the skies a yard and sat down on the truck. That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, a lie, a lie. Oh my god. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Oh my god. I preemptively I, give my vote to Patty. Yeah, yeah, like, like Yeah. Yeah, can I yeah. We're just, At the end of the session it. if you're like, no. I don't know, I'm gonna be like yes. Uh I mean I think we can just end it, guys. Like call Wait, it do, early we need, night. do we need more do we need more shanties? No, 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 yes, one more. Our 
Okay. I was going to say, well, we're going to do everyone's favorite now. Oh, then. my God. Oh, don't know. Everyone, everyone together. Oh, right, here we go. Three, two, one. What do you do with a drunken sailor? sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? In the morning. Morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Or lie in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Literally five different hey, finishes. Hey, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, <laughs> early in the morning. It's one of the only ones I actually know by heart. So, yeah. sorry. I think the thing's pulling the themselves. Ears. I was going to say, anyone <laughs> listening right now just left. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> things pulling themselves into the ship are bipedal and look like they may have once been men. But they have mutated almost entirely into some combination of fish and frog. They have huge eyes, massive mouths full of strange teeth, clawed hands. They're hunched over, and they have spikes going up and down their backs, and their claws are about that long and sharp. And they have a lot of power because they just grab the side of the dinghy and jump into the air like a frog and land in the boat. It's no effort. Oh, no. You can see them churning in the water around you, and you realize you can't... You can't stop rowing, meaning the rowers must row, because if they don't, you just get swamped. You have to outrun them and shove the ones in the boats out. PCs can stop rowing, but NPCs cannot. Okay, so basically my crew is stuck rowing. Yep, they're not going to be able to help okay. you in the fight. Einar! Okay, uh, so we have... All of this momentum, right? We have eight momentums. Mm hmm. Would anyone be angry if I used a moment? One. Mo nope. I think it's Burn one. It. I think it. it's one. Let me let me double check and see how much it is. It can be take, five. Just take it, it all. <laughs> Just take it all. I think it's only one, but I'll double check just to be sure. I, I would take the one to, to make sure there's enough for everybody still. As, as a captain does, I just go, I don't think I need to be telling you boys, kill these things. Well, like I said, I don't want to stop rowing. Go ahead. Momentum page, there you are. Uh, doobie 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 doo. Okay, it's actually two. So I'm, I'm going to use two if that's okay. All right, so <clears throat> first action, I'm going to take this oar in my hand and swing it at the closest one in front of me. I should warn you, if you fail, you're hitting someone else. Because it's an oar and you're in a dinghy. Hmm. It's hitting somebody. There's no wolf whiffing. Ooh. It's like six uh, feet long and like two and a half feet wide at the paddle. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Just in case everyone hasn't checked yet, you should totally check the picture Tyler provided, and it's to get a to get a better visual representation of these things. They're truly horrifying. Einar does not want to die today. My mind is going to a dirty place. Yeah, I I don't want that touching me. I mean, if you look at the picture, like the way like the hilt is on the sword, it's just poorly positioned. You know, just... So yeah, I'm, uh... I, I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's do it! The, the two momentum <laughs> does not have anything to do with this but I will be spending the two momentum anyways, after. Sure. On. Swift action. We get a second standard action. Okay. I was going to keep rowing after that. <laughs> uh, you can get two swings. You can't go back to rowing. Because you got to pull it out of the water and then swing and then put it back in the water. It's a whole thing. Because it's huge. All right. Well, then we'll, we'll swing double time. Double mm -hmm. swings. Oh, I want two bitters. <laughs> okay! <laughs> what do you want me to roll? Uh, you're gonna roll your... Uh, 
My melee yeah. weapon? We're gonna, yeah, but you have a plus one complication because it's hard. Oh, of course I do. <laughs> you always do, it seems like. I know. Alright, here we go. Did that work? Did it go? Not yet. I, I try this again. Yep. Oh, there, there it went. Is. Hey, you got the two successes you needed. Roll damage. I don't care about hit location for the monster. Hey! One and an eagle. Okay. Um. That was the first one. Stand by. We're gonna. Okay, we're gonna give your ore the knockdown quality. You slap that one out of the boat. Roll again. Hey. Oh, but I have a complication, so it's yeah zero yep. successes. But that's not a fa is that a failure? No, failure would be no successes. You didn't get enough to succeed, which means uh, you whacked the side of the boat really hard, cracked your. Oh, that's... you didn't break it though. Okay, not yet. But I'm. I did a good thing. Petrusa. <laughs> um, well, first, I just want to let you know me and Fellows are getting a lot of network connection issues on our stream. So oh, me too. Sh yeah, so I'm not sure. Just giving you a heads up. Not sure there's anything we can actually do about that. So. No, it's not us. Yeah. I've, I've been checking. Okay, cool. Um, so, sorry, everybody. We'll deal with that as we can. Uh, Petrusa has no fucking clue what to do in this situation, so he, um, uh, can I just take my crossbow and, like, point at the one, like, trying to climb up the side of our, we're in long boats, I imagine, right? Or, like, yeah, and there are in the boat, they're not climbing it, they are in, they get a free action to leap into the boat. Oh, to leap into the boat. Okay. Uh, you can, can still I, shoot it, yeah. Can I point blank shot it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's just do... Let's, let's use my crossbow. I technically have one. Why not? Roll it. Sure. <clears throat> um, where are you? Coordination. Oh. Oh, this is going to go very poorly. Uh, for your range? Do you not have ring? Oh, you picked that up, didn't you? I mean, I put, like, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I have these the, the loads. Um, how does volley work again? Anyone who's ever used it? Volley works as follows. <laughs> <laughs> Spend <Maybe> kimchi. <laughs> Spend a load adds a bonus d20 to the attack and plus one damage die per load. So you okay. could sp you could blow your whole load <laughs> for a whole bunch of dice. <laughs> I will because I. <laughs> but now remember, loads cost money. Okay. Once finite once resource. You're, once you're, yeah. Once you're out of loads, you have no more ammo. Oh. I'm broken. I see. I just realized what I said in that last one. <laughs> We're talking about quivers. I don't know why you guys are laughing. This is serious business. Archery is, you know. I will, um... Well, a good load will make anyone quiver. You, you, can, you can fire as many as many. <laughs> I, will, I will drop two loads. <laughs> I apologize to the entire stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Blame Conan for using that term. <laughs> they should have known better. <laughs> they should have known only children play tabletop RPGs, apparently. Not Tyler. Tyler is totally stoic. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are laughing at. 
I laughed at the first two seconds of it, and then I checked out. <laughs> I'm laughing at effort. Okay. Roll it! <laughs> Don't yell at me! Alright. Don't forget your timer. Every four, every 30 seconds, I'm adding I two. told you what I'm doing, goddammit. Alright, so um, I get to roll a ranged attack, which gives me one success plus uh, an extra 2d20 because I use two loads, right? Correct. Okay, boom. And then another two, which nope. was another another success. One more success. So that was two successes on my range attack. And the damage is uh, three. What so qualities does it have besides volley? Unforgiving one. Ooh. I don't know what that does. Hold on, I have it written down. Let me pull up. Let's see. Unforgiving one. If someone uses exploit, intense, and it uses exploit, you get intense and vicious on your next attack. Um. So that allows me to. Intense uh, causes two harm for every one attack, and vicious has you can spend momentum for extra damage. Where all the damage? It's just a static three. There should be three die. Yeah. Oh. It's die. Did oh, you... I I apologize. Okay, so three d twenty, right? Or... Don't you have the bow on your character sheet in the upper left? Use that. I. I. Oh! Okay, now hit the damage, because we don't care about the attack roll. Just hit the damage thing. Five. There it is. Okay. Um, you get, do you I get, get the bonus two damage die as well? Yep, roll 2d6. So they're eight. A three and a five. Okay, so you did two damage. You do not get the... Uh, status so okay i'm looking to see what you can do with that enhancement that's useful in this situation and it looks like well the one that uses momentum for extra damage kind of like okay unless you can uh, knock it out of the bow which is what i'm checking but not with ranged attacks so yeah roll yeah. another d6 roll another d6 okay to use the momentum for extra damage roll to four four counts for nothing two damage you hit it Right, the tarso. It's angry right, so at you. I wanna, right, so I want a one, a two, or a f five and a six, right? Correct. And you yeah, ultimately okay. want ones and sixes. All right. So, oh, my first roll did really well. It was all ones and twos. And then, all right. So I had four. Just to make sure I understand, I did how much damage? Two, because okay. your successes on the attack roll don't apply to damage. Only the d6 is applied to damage. Right, so on the first roll, I rolled a one, which is a damage, right? Right, that's right. Okay, and then twos count as damage, right? Yep. Okay, so that's three damage. Four damage. You get double on ones and sixes. Okay, so four, nothing and nothing. No, one, five. Five damage, right? Correct. Cool. Yeah, I know this game. Sweet, thank you. <laughs> I can do math. You hit it right in the torso. Freya! It does not die, though. Freya! Oh. It's, like, right on the edge of our... No, thing. they're in the boat. Oh, All of the, the deep ones are in the boats. Yep, and there's four in each oh, boat. Oh. So, while if... If... Einar would have whiffed with the ore... That's just Can because it's an ore, and it won't help with your, it won't happen with your axe. Okay, sweet. It's because I'm the gonna... ore is six feet long. <laughs> well. I'm definitely going to use my axe. I'm going to axe the stronger if he could leave. Deep one, thank <laughs> you. Continue! This stronger, he'd probably be on your side. Roll the damage! He's... Two successes and. Hey. I got a birdie. 
And then you can add knockdown as your other success for the enhancement and knock it out of the boat. Ooh. To which you say yes, because then that threat's removed from the boat. <laughs> oh, wait. Do I have to roll anything else for that? Or? Nope. It just happens. Oh, okay. Awesome. He. Okay. Luciana. Can I kick it? Sure, but you suck at that. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna whack at its kneecaps with my axe. How about Roll that? it. And no, you're not trying to kneecap it. You're trying to hit it right center mass and knock it out of the boat. And I figure if we hit the kneecap, it'll knock it over. But... It will. It'll fall forward. Melee! Nice! nice. Roll damage! Nice! Do all the malays. Oh, nice! Nice! nice. It yeah, dies. you decapitate it, you don't have to knock it out of the boat, <laughs> it just falls out of the boat with no head. Alright! Uh, Lysander! It was nice. a head in you, life! What do you want me to do with the... Are you gonna spend that remaining... Momentum, or do you want to put it in the poo? She did. She has vicious. That's how I did the beheading without making her roll more. Oh, okay. Should have oh. specified. I apologize. She she can so, activate because she rolled a bird, which is a six. She can activate her uh, weapon qualities with the six, which is just automatic doom with her weapon. Giving him the bird. Right. Uh, so when you roll I... a six, so when you roll a one, you get double damage. You get two points. When you roll a six, you get two points of damage, and you get an effect, which means you can activate your weapon effects. Uh, in my dinghy, uh, Petrusa and Freya combine to take one down, right? No, so in your dinghy, left. yes. Petrusa didn't hit the one Freya did. Oh, uh, okay. That one is still in the boat. The one that Freya hit got knocked out of the boat. It's gone. Okay, so there's, so there's two unhurt, three, one hurt. One of them damaged. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will try to finish off the one that is damaged. Do it. Um, so. I take, I whip out my me cutlass, and it looks like as if my hand is like wrapping around the hilt, as opposed to holding it normally, for anybody who's paying attention. And uh, drawing it, I'll just kind of go into my uh, battle cry. I thought I heard, I, I thought I heard the old man say, leave her, Johnny, leave her. <laughs> and I'll stab. That's Sorry, I was redeeming somebody's talk like a pirate. <laughs> Allowed. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Me cutlass. Roll melee. Click. Oh, barnacles. You sang a song. Roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's called song momentum. I pretty like fucking, this. Pretty fucking good damage, actually. <laughs> okay. That one's already damaged, so you run it through and it falls out of the boat dead. Yes. So, that means on oh on your boat there's two, and on the Baron Luciana uh, Einar boat there's two also. Nice. And one's heavily injured on the other boat. Okay. Baron. Baron mutters to himself, What spooky woo is this? I can't make deals with fishmen. <laughs> Draws his bow and uh, shoots it. Is there any injured on our? No, I, I thought there was, but I lied. Okay. <gasps> he lied. Neither of the remaining oh, deep ones on either boat are currently injured. But you're half done in one round. Not bad. There we go. That works. Uh, damage? Yep. Ooh. Oh. Two and an eagle. Nice. Okay. What are you attacking with? My bow. Bow. Okay. You skewer it. You don't kill it, but it stumbles. And then the deep ones leap to the assault. And, of course, the two on both the east, for the viewers, <laughs> the right side of the screen. Uh, they're all going after Luciana because she's the terrifying one. 
That makes me feel happy. Ooh, that's a lot of successes. <laughs> okay. I'm still happy. <laughs> Gonna need more D6s. Hold on. Oh, no. Luciana, what's your uh, mental resistance where it says courage by your armor? Mental? How many do I have? No, what's your resistance above your armor? It says stress and harm, and underneath it it says courage with a number. Uh, oh, my courage is a two. You take four resolve damage. It makes a hideous croak. And you're stunned on your next turn. Which, can someone look that up for her in the cheat sheet, please? Yes. The other one, while well, its buddy is terrifying you with its hideous croak, tries to rip your face off. Oh, yay! It gives itself a complication. Now, is she it's stunned the... or dazed? Stunned. Yeah. Okay. I thought you had it. Sorry. Not bad. It pulls out a strange coral knife. That's what it says in the book. I don't know what it means. Say, I don't did have you a say picture. Cor coral, coral or coil? Coral. Oh. Made out of coral. Alright. Okay. How much armor do you have on your torso? Torso is a three. All right. Piercing two. So you take four uh, vigor damage from getting stabbed in the chest with a strange knife. Twists into your skin with barbs, and when it yanks it out, it tears the hole open. Mm. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me more scars. Give me. Give me all the scars. You're doing it correctly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> in the other boat let's see one each guy with the with the pet with the oar the lady with the axe wait no guy with the oars in the first boat lady with the axe and the singing guy <laughs> leave her Johnny leave her they both use their strange coral knives Much armor you got, Patty? Any position for the head doesn't matter. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one, but let me double check real quick. No, it's two! Two everywhere but my head. Lysander, you take three uh, vigor damage. Ow. Yeah, these knives are nasty. Alright, and... Great. What's your armor? Anywhere but the head. I believe everything is a three. All right. Even the head. You take three resolve or er, vigor damage. Vigor. Oh. Yep. And these knives tear right through armor. It appears at least some of it, not all of it. Oh my god. The crew. Hey, vigor. The crew of Lysander's boat. Two of the oars get yanked away by other oh. demons in the water. Progress slows. Mm -hmm. Question. What about the right? Both the right makes progress um, despite the deep ones trying to yank oars away. Yes. Baron the Blue, Luciana, and Einar, you are ahead of the other boat now. What's the Ooh. question? Oh, okay. Uh, question. Um, I couldn't find anything on stunned, but I found right. staggered. Would that be the same? Nope, it's stunned. Yeah, I saw I... it as a as a DM like the actual. Doom action, but no. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, no, but there's no explanation of it. It just says yeah. it costs one oh. doom. Okay, you can't see it. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah, that's why I asked conditions list for the reference. It just says staggered. It doesn't have. Yeah, a, it's a not stun. staggered. Einar, what are you gonna do with your turn? Uh, we still have one more on our boat, correct? Or two? Two. Hmm. One of them, however, 
Got a 20 on its roll, which means it lost its knife. All it can do now is claw you and croak at you. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's better, question mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's okay. Uh... All right. Um, let me double check what this thing does because I can't remember. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Uh, we are at. I'm, I'm guessing short range for ranged weapons. I take it. <laughs> You're at close range, actually. Close range. Which accounts for short. It doesn't penalize short. Well, it does if it's a bow. Yes, mine is a bow. However, I do have that talent that it, uh, mine. Less hard by one. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Shoot for the horizon. Reduce penalty for firing at wrong range by one. One step. Um, hmm. You know what? I have a feeling that my compatriots can finish out the two on the boat. I am instead going to fire for the other boat to assist them. Strangely. Damn. And with question. <laughs> My One more time? Too. Sorry, he faded out for me for a second. What are you doing? Was I that boring? I'm sorry. No, your <laughs> volume lowered. Damn. Zoom decided that you were boring, I guess. Uh, uh, so I, I'm not going to fire at the one in our boat. I'm going to fire at the one in, in uh, the two in the other boat to assist them so that they can get back on track. Okay. Uh, uh, to Luciana, stun means for the level of you take one complication to all rolls per level of the stun. Also, you cannot defend yourself or guard. Okay, cannot. Which means you can't take a turn to try to I don't know. lower damage. And from that particular stun, because the number of successes he got, you have stun three, meaning plus three to all rolls you make. You can avoid that by giving me one point of doom per rank of stun you would wish to avoid. All of it. Done. Take all of it. <laughs> no Damn, penalty fuck. from stun. Fuck it. He gets a million points of doom to start the game with anyway. Might as well just yeah. keep feeding him. Exactly. I mean, what's all the right. worst going to happen? Really? Let's roll it, uh, uh, Einar. All right. So uh, a minor action. I will gain one momentum for the attack to be used. And then I will... You know what? We need to get these guys out of the boat. So I will. I'm going to spend one load. Okay. Try. Oh yeah, because I have volley. Yeah. I have volley on my bow, so I will spend one load for an additional d20 and a one damage die. And I also have another thing up my sleeve as well. Uh. Is it the cocaine you smoke? Do you snort to get? Brave. You said it no. was up your sleeve. I'm safe. Well, that's on, that's on my hip. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's his no no snow, <laughs> and it makes him feel better. All right, roll uh, it. Here, here we go. Nice. Roll damage. Well, what, you're roll still damage. using the paddle, or are you using something else? No, no, I'm using my bow. Oh, right, because you spent yeah. the load. Right. So you can't uh, you can't knock him out of the boat then, but you can do extra damage for that extra in it and success. Unless you need it for something else. Uh, so check this out. So I rolled five damage dice, right? Yep. And you did three um, damage. And I did. Plus your weapon enhancements kick in. Which is piercing one, so. It avoids the armor, yep. Uh, I also have this cool thing called accurate. Which means I can reroll damage die equal to up to the number of talents I have in ranged weapons. Yep. So I will reroll those two zeros. Do it. And you're gonna use the extra success here too. Yep. So okay. Roll three d sixes. Three three d sixes. And that last one you can still reroll once if it sucks. 
the enhancement. Okay. It's a two, four, four. So re-roll one of the fours, because that counts for nothing. So three, four, five damage. With piercing one. He's not dead, but he's hobbled real good. Wow. Deep ones have Ted vigor. I, I am. Einar is slightly shaken Shook by it. that. Like, yeah, that. I mean, that's like he put a good amount of oomph into his attack, and this thing did not. I mean, it wavered a little bit, but not as much as a man would. Okay, I'm done. Success. Maybe, maybe Lysander's a little impressed with you now. Probably not. It's Lysander. <laughs> Patricia. Um. Do we have any more deep ones in our boat? Yep. We have two. We have two, two more in our in, in our boat. Okay. One's damaged, one's not. Yeah, okay. one just took an arrow. And yeah, one down. took an arrow right to the groin area. Ooh. That's why he didn't fall over. They don't have groins. No, but right. they got soft things in that area like everyone else. <laughs> That's where all the soft organs are. Ah. Uh, right. Should aim for the head, Einar. Ugh. <laughs> you can't call it shot. Stupid, you need two enhancements stupid. to do that. Yes, yes. Okay. Does it have like a like a wound, like an open wound or something? Like, does it, does it like nope. snatched out the arrows or anything like that? Nope. No. Okay. Too smart for that. Not because okay. of you, but because that makes arrow wounds worse. Right, right, right. Wasn't sure how smart these things were. These are nemesis level, which means they're very smart. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to take one of my green vials. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. And I would like to aim for its open mouth. Okay. Anybody going to stop him from taking two enhancements from the pool? No, that sounds okay. Nope. No. No. Right do it. Uh, so since you're rolling to hit, just do a, you can, this is a cool thing about how we built your character, you can substitute alchemy for tossing when using your vials, uh -huh. because of the level you're at. So right. roll that to hit. Don't you have like a three billion in alchemy? What? I do. He does, but. <laughs> and you still did not good. Wow, because I rolled Ripped. an 18 and a, and a 17. 17. Uh, you know what you could do, though? Yeah, no. What? You could buy a natural one for a two point. <laughs> like can, you, a, can you do that? Do <laughs> yes, you can. He's an yeah, elder. No, no. You, could, you, you could can take, take a fortune the, point after fail. a roll anytime you spend doom to do it. Yeah. He's an elder you know, salesman. I you would could buy. Here to fail, also. I mean, no, it's too late. You have to do that before you roll. Your only choice is miss or send me a doom point and not miss. He's got like 30. <laughs> sure, give him 31. I was 20, say, 26 like, if you give me one. Yeah, take it. Because I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like. I would like to kill one of these things. As mentioned Rurr. to someone else privately, give me all the doom points. I get you used to that piece of until now. God. We're in the hole so much already. Anyway. Okay. Like, so that means you got one enhancement. Would you like to use it on damage? Yes. All right. Well, what's the damage for this? Base uh, damage. It's the, it's the regular base. It's the. Okay. The, so roll those d6s I, plus an additional d6. I think it's. Isn't it 2d6? Shoot. I actually didn't have it. Oh, there. no. No. This is alchemy. You can use the two level effect. Because you got two successes if you get a natural one. So do the level two damage. The two success damage. This isn't the acid vial, four. is it? Haha. -ha. Yeah, this is acid. This is acid. We're Roll in four. Boats. 
So technically, acid is a single target attack. This is my not AOE. Okay. So. <laughs> Plus, he called shot and succeeded because he spent a doom point. It's in his I, mouth. Yeah. Okay. It's going to do so four my, points so of damage my, in its mouth, which so my, will bypass so my, all armor. So my regular damage plus an extra? No, just the four dice. As if you had rolled two successes. That is two, three... That's three... Yep, that's three damage, damage direct to the mouth to the one that had already been shot in the gut. Yeah. Most of its jaw melts off, and it's like a horror show as it falls out of the boat trying to scream. Yeah, like the whole bottom part of its jaw falls off, but it's still like... And then the arrow breaks off on the way over the side of the boat. Its intestines get hung up on the side. It's real bad. All right, Freya. Still two on your boat. Hello, we've come to the water. No, one on I your will... boat now. Yeah, but it should be the last one on our boat. Yeah. I think I will ax this one to leave. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Heroes all night so far, except for one. You swing, it ducks. Um, <gasps> no, oh. Tyler. It's, yeah, it's a twenty. It's a twenty. There's twenty in there. Why yeah. am I rolling so good, so bad? You swing, it ducks. <laughs> I get doom. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! It's right. I Luciana. think all of us have contributed to the doom. Okay. Hole. Hi. There's still one in your boat with an arrow in it. No, there's still two in your boat. One has an arrow in it. I whack it. Roll it. All right, roll damage. Yeah. There you go. Roll an extra d6. Oh, wait, no. You have knocked down. Yeah. You knock it out of the boat with a horrible axe. Woohoo! I got two! Baron! Ah. One left in left your boat, boat, undamaged. Undamaged. You gotta range that thing. Okay. Two successes. Thanks. Roll damage. Add an extra d6. Nice. Hey. Hey so two two zero. What? You know what? I just kind of realized. Aren't some sides dead on the damage? Oh days? right. When you actually roll damage, it needs to do that. I yeah. Know that. So yeah. So that's one two three four. It has real thick skin, but you definitely injured it. Nice. The crew of both the left starts catching up to both the right. Both the right continues to hold its lead, though. On both the left, the remaining deep one does a horrible croak at Freya. What's your courage, Freya? Mating call. Oh, oh, just no. Water all over again. Mm -hmm. Courage is courage is right <laughs> on top of your armor. <laughs> is it one? Okay. Make Guillermo the total happy. You take two points of resolve damage. Jeez. And you're stunned one, which means plus one complication to everything you do next turn, unless you want to do. Huh? See? Oh, um. May as well. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Let's play man. Tyler, how many Doom do you have right now? 30. <laughs> closer. Th I was like, close uh, to 30. He's creeping yeah. up on 30. He's just going to blow it all at he's, once. He's gained 10. So. And it can't even. Uh, <sighs> there's still one left on the other boat. I forgot about that. He tells Luciana a knife to meet you. Welcome, ever. 
Yeesh. And you take three more vigor damage, Luciana. They're ripping holes in you. I like it. Einar. Uh, we still have one on my boat. Oh no, right? I'm spending doom to interrupt you and take an action. The deep ones scuttle both boats. You must what? swim for sure now. <laughs> just like <What>? that. <laughs> yep, just like that. I have enough. I, see, I knew it was going to be like, oh, the maelstrom leaves land and comes where you are. <laughs> that is one of the oh, powers oh. I gave it, yes. <laughs> oh uh, no. The Deep Ones have been slowly wrecking the bottom of the boat. They succeed in flooding both. So, you're going to have to swim for the shore. However, you can all take one more round of actions before you have to get out of the sinking boat. Einar! One more round of action before leaving the sinking boat. Right, which means you can get rid of the last ones in the boat. Then you just have to swim through the ones in the water. Amazing. I will use a fortune point on this. Okay. Um, That's what I wanted. Take out my scimitar. Okay. And slice and dice this guy. I, I mean, I've obviously dropped the ore. Screw the ore. The ore is now useless, yes. <laughs> All right, scimitar to your face. All right, well, hmm. damage. Rolling damage. Nice. Uh, okay. What does that fortune get me? It activates the uh, enhancements of your weapon. Which is... Parrying. Wait, hey, hey, hey. Not the fortune. The eagle gives you that. Your fortune oh, point uh, gives you a natural one. So you got two more successes than you rolled. Which means roll two more d6s. Unless you want to do a different status effect. Uh... At this point, knocking them out of the boat is useless. Yeah, um, Don't we need kill. some we need some kills here. Yes, I roll two more d6s. D6 times two. Uh, nice. One yeah. and a two. And that one was already injured. You finished skewering it because that's the same one that uh, the Baron shot. All right. Hey, hey. I don't need Petrusa. some powder today. One more action before the boat sinks. Yep. There's still one in your boat. It just croaked it for you. Shape of water. Shape of water. Shape of don't water. Don't have shape of water. Um, <laughs> what about shape of boat? <laughs> no. Um, boom. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do something very good. I proof. I am going to take out um, one of my powders and put it in kind of like twist the top and it starts making a very loud, you hear like a kind of a click and um, I roll it on the floor of the boat and I yell, you, or I, and I say, you should get out now. Oh no. Steve, um, Donna, Don Arnetto gives you one fortune. I will take that one fortune immediately. Um, I, I want to try to make the largest fucking explosion I can in this boat. Oh. As, it, as it sinks and as it's scuttled, I want to explodinate the shit out of it. Please don't kill my crew. Explode Nate. I, I've given everyone fair warning that this boat's about to go kaboom. So you want to hold your action to the end of the round? If you do it now, you're going to hit everyone, including yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to go off as we're all jumping out in a dramatic explosion. Okay. Freya. So, is it is it a Michael Bay movie? <laughs> it's... 
What do you do Freya to the one that croaked at you? Ah! <laughs> okay. And then dives off the boat as instructed. <laughs> you should jump back. <laughs> she yells at it. <laughs> Luciana. She yelled at me. No bad guys in your boat. No bad guys. Aww. Don't, for don't forget our crew. Yeah, and she, gonna jump uh, in the water? she throws off. She throws the crew that's left in the boat. You can't. They have and their then, own turns. Uh, okay. I'm getting out of here before this spooky wood comes and kicks my ass. And then she dives off. Lysander. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, explosive vial on the ground. Uh, I will... I will dive into the water, but I will be ready to stab anything that tries to take down one of my crew. Okay. Even if it means sacrificing my own swimming time or swimming distance, I will. I would rather save one of my crew. Baron. Is there any way that I can use stealth to sort of like dive into some debris or into like a dead body of one of the deep ones to like not get noticed by them or to hide away <laughs> yes using my living shadow uh we'll come to that skill. in a moment but yes okay the crew abandoned ship the deep ones swarm both of the boats all right the er petrusa some revenge I am going to use the fortune that was given to me and one of my own fortune points for, f for four automatic successes. Okay. I approve. And... Petrusa, what boat are you in? I was in the Not one yours. with... Yeah, okay. I was in the one with like Sander. Sander. If, you're, if, you're Sarah, yeah. the, if you're looking at the stream, Dwayne, it's left and right. Okay. Of me. So yeah, I'm still in the boat. <laughs> And uh, that means I have four successes. To get my large explosion, I need five. So let's see if I can get it. <laughs> Good thing you but spent you, what you spent. Yeah, you've got, yeah, you spent your two. two Roll the damage. That's sexy. Oh, oh, it's a, a natural 20. 20. Yeah, it's a 20. 20. Yep. But it doesn't give doom because you... It's just a complication. Roll your damage. You spent fortune points, so it's a complication, not doom. Okay. So I get the four version, which yep. is six damage. Yep. Uh, 66. All of the damage. Actually, I want to just um, let me do this because I don't like having to do it that way. Yeah, just roll sixty-six because we can look at him real easy and figure out what the damage is. It's fine. Okay, I was trying to make it easier for us, but okay. It's gonna be too variable to do that. You'd have to set up like twenty attacks. Oh, okay. well, look at that! A One, bunch two, of... three, four, five, six damage. Wait, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six damage. The boat explodes spectacularly, slinging deep ones everywhere, and everyone's cheering except Petrusa. Board flies through the air, hits him in the head, and gives him a plus one complication to his swimming rolls. Ooh. That sounds about. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Einar, <laughs> athletics check. Oh, uh, yeah. One of those, huh? Uh. Oh, should I spend another fortune? You have a plus one complication because the deep ones are trying to pull you into the water. I will spend my fortune. That's two successes. 
Roll it. Maybe you'll get more. Yeah, hopefully I can get away. Because there are two rolls, and the second one is affected by the first one. Athletics, right? Yep. Yeah, there it is. So now I need you to make a resistance roll plus one. So roll resistance and then roll another d20. You can do it! Yay! Yeah, you can. You successfully pull yourself to shore. You take one bigger wound from Claws. Petrusa, Ooh. athletics. You will all have plus one complication, and then whatever successes you get will add to your resistance roll. Zero. The resistance roll also has a plus one complication. All right, now roll resistance. E one. All right, you also take one vigor damage, but you all see Petrusa get pulled under the waves by deep ones. Oh no! Oh, that Freya priest of Mithras. Yeah, the only one who can you know get you back off the island. Hmm. Freya, yeah. you can swim for it, or you can try to rescue that priest. <laughs> swim for it, I... Luciana. Has... <laughs> I will attempt to save this priest. Athletics with two complications. You want to spend mm. momentum or fortune? We have four more mo momentum left. I still have three fortune points, so I might as well do fortune. All right, that means you need one more success to succeed, so roll your athletics. And tell Devin to stop it so you don't fail. <laughs> Uh, how? <laughs> how? You, know, you know how you can save. How? You know how you can save uh, Teresa. You can by do following him under. <laughs> give him a doom. No, don't give him a doom. No, do it no. he's over thirty. There are don't plenty of other it. characters that can save Petrusa. I'm. I'm just gonna drown. Like, no resistance. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Don't be Devin, don't be Devin, don't be Devin, don't be Devin, don't be Devin. Devin. Alright. Hey! You take one vigor damage and are fatigued. Plus one complication <laughs> until further notice on everything physical. What? Oof. Where do I mark that? Anywhere handy. Uh, probably oh, bonus minute. dice. And then, yeah, you can do... Well, no. Because it's not every roll, it's only physical. Oh. Okay. Well, I will... You just have to try to keep track of it, and I'm keeping track of it. So hopefully I'll remember to remind you. Luciana! I could have sworn there was a button for that. Freya couldn't honest. rescue the priest. I used two fortune points Ooh. to get the priest. You don't have to roll, but you can if you want more bonuses on your resistance check. Might as well roll. Yes, I do. Okay, what am I rolling? It. Athletics. Okay, now roll resistance with the... Resistance has a complication of two, meaning you need three successes, which you already have two, so you need one. There it is! Do it, do it, yeah. and add plus one back to the enhancement. And to plus the momentum pool. Back to the momentum. Luciana pulls Patrice ah free and makes it to shore. Lysander, swim for it! I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to make sure my crew's fine. I'm just gonna. I'm like. I'm. If I have to hold my action or tread water or whatever it is, I'm making sure my crew makes it. You are a very noble man. Oh, I. I'm gonna know. suck and for I will, you. I will, I will die. I will die for this. Well, Sienna will go back for you, sir. You can't. What? You already used your turn. What? After my turn, I use the fortune point to interrupt. I don't know. Okay. You have zero vigor and two wounds, uh, Lysander. Oh, like I'm reduced to zero vigor? Yeah, you took 16 levels of damage total for four hits. Nice. What? Two wounds? Okay. 
Yep. Two Roger. wounds and zero vigor. Also, plus one complication to all physical action until otherwise said. However, your crew will automatically succeed. Baron, swim for it. Give me that athletics. Well, I wanted, I wanted to use my stealth so that they couldn't see me. Yes, but I need the athletics first to make sure you don't drown. <laughs> Gonna spend a fortune? Yes, okay. So now you can roll stealth. You can still roll the athletics if you want to try for bonus successes. But you don't need to with two with the fortune. Sure. Why not? Okay. Stealth. Nothing. Look at that. Three. Ooh. And resistance. You only need one success on your resistance roll. You make it to shore, Damn unhindered, nice. uninjured, and unimpeded. The crew makes it to shore. Lysander. Athletics. I, If I'm at zero vigor, can I still use a fortune point? Oh, yeah. It doesn't affect that. Okay. Just means if you get hit again, you're just going to take a loan. It's bad. Athletics. Because you'd die. No, you wouldn't. Three successes plus I spent a fortune point. So nice. Five total. So you yeah. also don't have to roll the resistance. You drag yourself to shore, bleeding and lacerated, but your crew hails you as their champion. <clears throat> You're all it. gasping for air, but you can tell Lysander is fucked up. You can take a moment to roleplay pulling yourselves to shore as you watch your digging sink, and you realize, fuck, how are we getting back to the ship? <laughs> That's a problem for a different day. <laughs> I know. That is future Lucian problem. We'll sink that bridge when <laughs> we get to it. Right? Yes. I Einar sees the, the amount of blood coming out of the captain. And it's a lot. Recognizes massive wounds. So the first thing he does is he comes over and silently hands him his small pouch and say, This will take away the pain. <laughs> I will take that bump. <laughs> and then... Lysander is a man who has never done drugs before <laughs> in his life. But he will take that bump. And then I will try to make him feel better. Is, is there a... Oh, there is a healing. Wow, I have none in it. <laughs> Luciana, <laughs> after saving the priest... Gargling on the blood that he's drowning on. No. Mm -mm, no, not you. I've got healing... L Literally Luciana, anyone like, but you. <laughs> she drags the priest onto the shore, and then she sees her captain like all fucked up. So she just drags the priest and drops him in front of him. Fix him now. Are you referring to me? Yes, you. You fix him You're now. Not that kind of cleric. Yeah, he However, doesn't, he doesn't fix things. Freya, you can finally use that herbalism. Heck yeah, I can. Let's break do out it. that PDF. Do it. do it. Oh no. So there actually is a really weird thing in here where I might be able to help, but it's definitely Freya's forte over mine. Okay. I've so been made for this. Herbalism is going to roll healing. Whenever I tell you to roll, you'll be rolling healing. So. Uh -huh. Uh. You have uh five units of herbs they're unlimited until you use them to get automatic successes so if you use one here it's like spending fortune on an herbalist girl oh, so okay. I would start there because he's fucked up you've got loads too so <laughs> put, just put a load all over him and a probes dog <laughs> <laughs> you can make a healing poultice by making a uh, healing roll with only one success needed because you're using resources. Uh huh. Now, hold still. I will fix you. Describe the healing or the, the poultice. It should be gross. Oh my god, yes. So, Freya takes a couple vials from. from within her furs. You don't know where they came from exactly because furs don't have pockets. Um, so she also has this little bitty stone bowl and she takes and empties out the first vial. 
It looks like a giant loogie. Mm. Shampoo's out the second vial. Looks like cricket legs. Mm. She empties out a third vial. You're not really sure what it is, but it looks like fungus. Like, imagine that slice of cheese you've left in in your vegetable drawer, you know, where it keeps somewhat humidity. So, like, that cheese has got fuzz and, like, little spore things sticking up. And, and, and... If you waited a few more days, it might evolve some intelligent speech. Uh, so she takes it and puts it in that bowl and she grinds it all up and it just makes this this sound of like putting sand in your teeth and going Mmm, the good stuff. Oh, God, yeah, I can yeah, yeah. I can physically feel that and it yeah, hurts me. You're welcome. Uh so she takes it and she spits in it. And then she grinds it up some more, and it doesn't sound like gritty sand on teeth anymore. It makes a squelching sound. Uh, you're not really sure how, but it does. And she takes it, she scoops it out with her fingers. One second before you apply it. And then at the last second, she says, ah, yes, reaches in a different herbalist pouch and pulls out this sort of bright red plant. It's all floofy and it's got like big black nodule on the inside and she breaks it up. It smells intoxicating. She mixes it into the poultice. You have a talent that lets you mix narcotics in. And you have oh poppies. God. It's a little bit yeah. of cocaine in there, right? You are no, that was friend. a poppy. This is heroin. Carry on! Oh. <laughs> My new friend. <laughs> this plant we call the red... Passion, it will make you very excited. So, she she finishes grinding all this stuff up. She scoops it out, and it's like this vomit pink. Now, one second. Would you like to use your best talent before you stick it on him? If so, look him right in the eye and say, "This will hurt." This this will hurt. I don't be doubting you, lassie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now describe jamming it deep in the woods. Oh, so she gets she gets this kind of excited look in her eyes. Also, I apologize, my dog is playing with a very loud toy. <laughs> and she like shimmies her shoulders a little bit like like she's just really giddy about doing this. <laughs> this is not a lay the terror Lysander already had for her, so great. She takes and scoops up this this delightful, chunky, yet slimy... <laughs> and satisfying? Cultus. Yes, slimy and satisfying. And she, she starts gently caressing it onto the wounds of Lysander. And then she shoves her fingers in there and squishes all around. Oh. And then just when you think she's done, she looks at his leg that's bent the wrong way. Says, oh, yes. Yank snap! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that gave me a chill. You are um, a strong man. This will put hair on your chest. So, when you use a little to ease the pain, you can uh, add two d20s to the healing test per load use. Now you're going to roll four d20 for this check. You can re-roll any of the d20s that fail. And since you use this will hurt, uh, Patty, please take... Five resolve damage minus your courage, but oh your DC God. is reduced by three steps. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> you trade Good. mental damage for ease of healing. So that, that's about that's about normal. Yeah, Wait, Conan, five, Conan five, healing five, is epic. Five minus my courage. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Do, so do you want me to go ahead roll, and just do roll the healing D20s? and then roll two D20s afterwards? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except on someone like Einar, who has no courage, and that would immediately make him go mental. <laughs> okay, roll healing hey, again zero. because you get to re-roll that. What is with my like? Why am I rolling so well terribly? There we go. Hey. Now roll two d twenty. Uh, separately or together? Together's fine. And then re-roll uh, one of those. 
Just roll 1d20. Hey, uh... And forgot. it's Conan, so you have to take the second roll. Nice. I forgot for a second and got excited. Oopsie. So... If it were any other game... You had three successes, you needed no successes, which means they all count as healing, which means you have all of your vigor back, Lysander, and you only have one wound. Huzzah! However, yeah. she pulled that leg a little too vigorously. You have a plus one complication to any movement-based actions. Oops. That bend Roger. in your leg, it will give you character. <laughs> I love it. You're gonna make me fulfill a stereotype, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I could take off the leg and put on a peg instead. Would you like that? That and is then a tentacles, nasty stereotype. And then tentacles burst out of his hand, his right hand. <laughs> Purple and black and slimy and covered in suckers. Only like Freya sees this. Oh, okay. Mm. Lysander is unfazed. Oh, uh, I very quickly try to wrap, wrap them up and make it look like a very bandaged hand. Which is uh, fine because you're like 90% bandages, so no one else will notice. Let's what? be keeping that between you and me, hey? You have become It's very spooky thing. woo, Freya. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> spooky woo. You are becoming the thing that we uh, have faced. Mm, uh, like I said, between you and me. You actually see Freya afraid of something. Does anybody notice this? Only Freya. Two of them have noticed so far, but neither of them has said anything to the rest of the party. You going to eat us? I but for some reason, Freya's asking Lysander if he's going to eat. You can't hear what they're saying. I, I cannot heal that. Uh, I didn't think you could. Can't heal hunger. Give him some food. It's what? a price. I'll, it's a price I'll be having to pay. Oh, indeed, and maybe us too. As we better leave this beach, there may be the, more. The deal be just for me. Do you look around when I, you say that? I Einar? give you me word. Yes. Roll survival. Oh. I'm do. actually okay at that. Yeah. You notice that the uh, beach is gravelly and not sandy, even though the myth said it was a sandy blood red. It was a blood red sand. This is gravel. But then you do notice it's got like red running through it, almost like veins. It's like a gravel beach is full of red veins going all the way up the beach and into the grass and deep into what looks like a giant redwood forest. You know, massive, massive trees. Hmm. And you're like, that's uh. That's, and then the red tendrils whip up out of the ground and attack everyone. Give me your initiative order again, unless you're keeping it. God. Christ. Uh, so much happening. <laughs> okay, so tendrils whip up from the beach and are attacking us from underneath the sand? There is no sand. It's or the gravel. gravel. The gravel. Sorry. No. On closer inspection, it looks like these are some kind of creeper. Vines. Blood red vines that are attacking you, hence the Crimson Isle. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. I know, I know, we'll go at any moment. So, do you want to keep your order or do you want to change it? <clears throat> I'll, I'll still go last. Okay. I'm, I was I was fine with where I was. Okay. I'm, I think we're good. Where I was. I know. Okay. In, in Conan's world, is this phenomena odd? Uh, roll survival again. This would be your move action, but not your regular. One success. You have, in fact, heard of red creepers. Okay. It's a plant that covers every surface when left untended that feeds exclusively on the juices of living beings. They prefer humans. Okay. It makes their flowers beautifully rich and red. Score. Uh, okay. Because uh, if if I didn't do good on that, Einar was gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, because I know what this is, I will chop at it with my scimitar to 
try and get loose. Oh, please don't chop my own leg off. Chop your leg off. Do it. You didn't roll. Oh, you did roll a twenty. I did roll a twenty. Why, um, why did you say it out loud? All right. Uh, bring it okay. on. Bring it on. <laughs> no, but just means I'm automatically going to spend doom on its special power when it's against you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you swing and cut through a couple, but not nearly enough. All right, Petrusa. Um. Yeah, I'll literally just pour out another uh, generic vial, um, and just start dumping it on um, acid. Yeah, of acid. Okay. And start pouring it out onto the, the vines. The you're able to clear an area around yourself without needing to roll. Okay. Okay. Freya. Um, yeah. That's its weakness. I'm just gonna chop it with my axe. Roll it! Gonna go melee the vines. Alright, roll damage. Hmm. Six. And then roll two more d6s. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. Four. That is One. a good thing. Well, I can turn acid into area attacks. Awesome. You're able to clear the area around yourself so you will not be attacked this turn. Luciana! Yes. She moves to stand in front of her captain. Okay. Won't help because it's everywhere. Yes, but she's going to attack gonna, the vines you, around Okay, roll him. it. Roll damage. You protect him, but not yourself. Okay, Baron. It's fine. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Or Lysander, I apologize. <laughs> she goes, this is some spooky word bullshit. And then, like, attacks the vines. Lysander. Okay, so Luciana just freed me. For this turn. They will not attack you this turn. Uh, I mean, I'll try to return the favor. Roll it! With me cutlass. One Roll success. damage. Hey. You partially protect her. Baron. Does it look like this is stuff is only on the shores? Like if we ran further in, we'd get away from it? Or how what's the situation look like? Um You feel like there's probably a source plant up there in the thick grass that they're run that the tendrils are coming out of. However, you could also uh, try to make a running leap for one of those redwoods and climb it. They're not going up the trees, it's only on the ground. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, is there any way that I can... I'm going to use command to tell everybody to make a run for it. I I think the best decision is not to fight, but to run and go up the the, the redwoods. Hurry, to the trees. Roll command. That'll be your uh, standard action, then you can run for it. As well. Nice. So anybody who takes his advice gets a plus one to their roll to try to make it to the trees, including yourself. So roll athletics. You already have one success. I'm going to spend a fortune. All right. You don't need to roll, but you can if you want to add to the pool. Just to see what happens. Nope. Okay. So you needed two. So Dwayne, plus one to the pool. Baron makes it to a tree and shimmies up. Now it's the creeper's turn. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. They're all going to attack me. <laughs> now, you've been, you and partially attack Luciana. And then the rest are going to surround the area, those of you that didn't run her in. <laughs> well, yeah. It gets a, it, the tendrils are full of thorns, and as they claw up your legs, they rip into your skin, Einar. Mm. And instantly you feel tired and fatigued. You have plus two to all rolls until otherwise, because the sap is a soporific. 
Also, because it successfully grappled you, I can't it injects you with an anticoagulant, making all of its attacks fearsome and vicious. Because you just bleed like a sieve. <laughs> and, because you gave me a doom point, I'm activating many tendrils. For each doom point spent, it can make an extra attack on you. I'm going to spend the one you gave me and another one of my many, many. Mm -hmm. They all hit you. <laughs> they, they, they all hit they all, yeah. you. They all hit you. What's your armor? It doesn't matter where. Uh, yeah, it does matter where. It's well, no, like, I don't care oh. about your head, is what I mean. They're not oh, that two. high up you. Two. So that's one. Two. Three, four, five, six. You take a wound and six vigor damage from the vicious quality as you bleed like a sieve. Also, uh, you're stunned now, too. So now your complications are up to plus four. Plus four, yeah. Mm. You can see that they're pulling Einar to the ground and bleeding dry real fast to the rest of the party. It's gruesome and sort of terrifying. All of you who do not have any courage take one resolve damage. If you have courage, you can stand the sight. Does that include me? No. You're too busy screaming to care about that. <laughs> Luciana, only one doom's getting spent on you. Yay! I get the one. They both hit. I always zoom out when I try to Yay! So you also are at two fatigue plus two complications to all rolls. And you're bleeding like a sieve. What's your armor anywhere but the head? Three. You only take two vigor damage, but it's vicious, so it becomes four. So you take a total of four. All right, now we move, and then the rest of them circle the, everyone but the Baron. We move back to Einar. You can attempt to break free, which is going to be an athletics check with a complication of four, so you need five successes. That's just to make a base success. Then you're, it's an opposed roll against the plan. <laughs> Here, I'll be nice and tell you what you're in for. <laughs> so you're gonna need nine successes to break free. <laughs> uh, wait, huh? <laughs> Are you crying or laughing? Yes. Por qué no los dos? Uh, okay. So. Wow, and I have. I don't think I have anything to help me. Steve's been playing this game for four sessions going, when is this going to get Conanny? Here you go, Steve. You're welcome. Well, it's been Conanny, like, but this oh, is no. very... Like, now like, it's Conanny. This is very... Like, being stuck in vines is very fucking Conan. Uh, uh, I can try. I mean, really, that's the best I can do. How uh, much momentum's we, in the pool? We got was, six in the pool. So you give can use three, and that would give you six successes, and you could spend two fortune, and that would give you ten. Well, I don't have that much fortune. You could give me doom. You No, no. <laughs> you know what? No. No. <laughs> I'm not going to... So I if you spend play. the three... You only need three successes if you spend the three points out of the pool. <laughs> only three. Yeah. So easy to get three. That's it. Right? Uh, I don't even think I can get three with... You can just choose to fail, which gives me doom. But there's no chance of you uh, giving me extra doom. Because if you fail the roll, I get two doom. If you choose to fail, I only get one. <laughs> God. If, you, if you choose to fail, you also get a fortune point. Yep. Uh, that is true. Yep. I forget about that mechanic too. Shit. I'm getting doomed no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I, all right, yeah, I'll choose to just... Bleh. <clears throat> I will choose to writhe in pain. Take all your right. fucking doom, you douche. I'll take my <laughs> portion. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I'm wrong Come back to me. So... 
Freya! And there's six, still six momentum in the pool for anyone who needs it. Uh, okay, so... Einar is trapped. Einar is trapped, and I'm spending more doom to make it even harder for you to escape the trap. Oh god, I'm gonna go help him. I think. I hope. I attempt? Okay. Alright, roll to hit. You're gonna need three successes of base just to hit the vines. So if you roll a 20, you'll hit Einar. <laughs> if you roll a 20 and fail. If you roll a 20 and succeed, you'll just get a complication. I'm, I'm second guessing my choice here. Too late. You have committed. I regret everything. <laughs> I regret everything. Regrets. No All the regrets. regrets. No every, regrets. Every Do regret. It. No regrets. Oh god. Okay. I don't even okay. have my my special powder either. I, I got gave one, it six, to the captain. Seven. That means he didn't roll a twenty. That means he said. You hack at the vines, but more of them wrap around him than you're able to cut free. That also means you don't run for it. You expose yourself to the vines on your turn. Oh. Luciana! Uh, oh. You're grappled too, but you could probably try to cut yourself free because you did not get, not get nearly as fucked as uh, Einar. Run, run away. Yeah, you're not my captain, so sorry, dude. She's gonna cut herself free and try to shimmy on out. You will need a base successes of two. Just fine. Won't be a problem for you. Roll it. Oh, uh, well, I just got a just melee, axe. right? Yep. Yeah. Also, we've been forgetting you can re-roll your axe rolls. So, nope, oh, you got both, so you're good. Roll damage. Oh. Yeah, you cut yourself wow. and good. Lysander free, Dusty. and you, you, you can both make Pretty an athletics mad. check. So go ahead and make an athletics. Uh, you need two successes, Luciana. Athletics. Nope. Nice. You make it to the tree and shimmy up. Lysander, uh, you're next. You can make an athletics too, but you're hobbled, so you need three successes. There is still points in the momentum, and you can spend fortune. How's my crew doing? Uh, <laughs> Sparon, you're up in that tree. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got your bow. Yeah. Do. No one's paying attention up until Lysander's turn, so even he won't see this. Three crew members are tied up in the creepers. You have a deal to fulfill. You have arrows. Yes, he does. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sean playing against type Kill is worth him. all the votes, too, by the way. <clears throat> Alright, roll damage. Oh yeah, you have fulfilled three of your contracts. He killed cool. three people. Oh, who died? Well, no, <laughs> who died? Sean's right, killing well, the crew to fulfill his contracts. But what happens, Lysander, is none of you saw you this. Gotta, You're all too busy that's... screaming. Sure. What happens is you turn to assess your crew, Lysander, and a few of them are attacking vines and freeing each other. They mostly look fine. Three of them are walking really weird. They're all jerky, like they don't know what their own body works like. But they've cleared the monsters and are climbing trees jerkily. Okay, so three are safe. The other five are seem okay. I did. I don't need the other five are holding their own. The three that escaped escaped, but something's definitely wrong with them. Okay. So I won't intervene with the other five. Uh, shit. Maybe it's scurvy. I want to help Einar, <laughs> but gorgeous. like. If I help him, then I'm only screwing myself, which means then I didn't help anyone. I, my net helping is zero. So I'm going to run away. <laughs> You're going to run for it, yes. Bravely. Roll it. Bravely. Oh, are you Bravely going to, run away. Are you going to blow anything to make sure you don't fail? Uh, you said I need to make three base successes to get out? To get to a tree. Uh, I will use a fortune point. When danger you weird, it's ugly head um, by Sander Baby. How, Friends. Yes, it literally. Yes, yes. Monty <laughs> Python bravely ran away. Uh, how much momentum do we have? Six. Can I use one of the momentum to automatically succeed on this athletics roll? Does anyone want to post to that? I'm fine with it. Go ahead. All right, cool. And then I'm gonna roll to see if I can get back. Cause that's the kind of guy I am. 
Hey, look at that. You did pay it I, back. I gave it back. You Good make job. it to the trees. Baron, you took your turn. Creepers! Ugh. Night Creeper Oh, wait. Can someone roll 3d8? So I can determine which crew have been replaced. I'll do it. So, yes, I was going to tell you. When you pick your three crew, they have radically altered personalities and new names. <laughs> okay. You can you right. can still make them up however you want. But they're not the same people, even though the bodies are the same. The only okay. thing that's changed is the personality and their eye color. It radically changes also. Okay. Three D eight. And they seem much more piratey. All right. So what was the first I got, one? I got a natural eight. Okay. Hold on. Okay, Iris the Immune has been changed. Six. All right, what's the next one? Six. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous Glenda has been changed. It's targeting the women. Oh. <laughs> did not do that on purpose. Sure, My sure girls. you did. And then the next one? Last one is a, a four. <laughs> and Dondis Dolphin Lover. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to know that story. <laughs> yep, never get to hear the story now. Damn it. Now he's just Donald the shark fucker. Like. <laughs> <laughs> less, less subtle. Less subtle and no alliteration. Sure. Arr. Uh, How'd you get your name, Donald? Fuck shark. Freya. How the fuck do you think? <laughs> Freya, plus oh, two I additional complications in all your roles. Two additional <laughs> Yep, plus two additional complication to all your rolls. Take three bigger damage and you're bleeding like a sieve. The vines have you. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Welcome and to... I'm going to spend more. Welcome to the Einar Hertz. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I try and help you? <laughs> that's what you get for trying to be a good person. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're not god. wrong. <laughs> Put your armor again there, uh, Einar. Who? You take another wound and six vigor damage. Oof. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> one. Hold on. now. Now hold on. Now I have to do math. <laughs> we can be a kraken, a skeleton ship from hell, Lord a Lord. ghoul lord, eldritch d d abominations from the deep. But we're gonna lose to a motherfucking plant. Is it Red Conan stories? This is on track. You said I'm... one one wound and six vigor. <laughs> yes. Doesn't that actually count as two wounds because it's more than five? That's why it's one wound. Oh, okay. All right. Just wanted to make sure because if that was the case, I would probably be dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I have two. Yeah. Baron trains his bow and Einhorn just be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be taking him, but deal he's deal. kind of an idiot and deals a deal. Oh, no. Einar, it's your turn. God, I need a nine. I need nine successes to get out of this thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you skipped me. We did. Yeah. I skipped you way back at the beginning. So yeah, jumping yeah, back to Trusa. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Um, okay. So, seeing the shit going down with Einar, um, I am discovering that I actually have the answer to defeating this thing. Um, it's acid or fire, yep. Yeah. I. Okay, I want to run over to where um, Einar is and take out uh, an acid thing and kind of like pour a circle around um, me and him specifically. And like Freya, leave, oh, because I, she's right there. Okay, if, if, if I can include her, then fine. I'm just, yeah. um, so this time I want you to roll, because this time you might actually force them to retreat. Okay.
Nope. One success. You were able to fend them off, which means you can all take a turn to run for it, but they have not retreated, so you still have to roll to run for it. Meaning, Einar and Frey are going to have like four complications each. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. But you I succeeded. Prob- okay, I probably should have burned some... Can I... Yeah, give me Doom. I, I was going to say, I apologize. I did not think this through ahead of time. I, I, I should have remembered to do with the fortune point. But you guys are, like, Dwayne, you're getting fucked up. And <laughs> I know. Is getting, so I'm willing to give Tyler one Doom. That won't be enough. That would be enough. Three, oh, oh, three fortune points? <laughs> no, three no, he's, Doom. He's going to give you one fortune point. Yeah, you needed six successes. Doom. Seven would be enough to exceed it and drive them off, which is entirely possible with your alchemy. You're just not rolling real good. No. No, I'm not. I have an idea, but it's not my turn yet. When you say drive them off, does that mean, like, for good good? Long enough to make it to the trees without rolling. Once you're in the trees and you're past the base plant, you're fine. Yeah. You're only danger on the beach. Sean was heard. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Baron yeah, yeah. was correct about that assumption. That's what I, I was thinking that the same thing when we first got here. Fuck it. Take it. Let's get the fuck past this. Nice. Thank you. All right. <laughs> It'll so bite I, us in the ass later. So, right? no. <laughs> so I run. So I, I run. I can do that or fucking die right here, right now. So I. Uh, I run and I pull out like multiple vials of this green kind of uh, slimy liquid, and I, you know, and I and I shake them up and I'm just like pouring them out. But like, and I get to you and I just pour them out and I'm actually like sp- splashing it. Um, and as it hits the vines, they recoil back and I make a an like a lane for us to follow all the way to the tree line. Excellent. I'm gonna highlight this. I'm gonna call it Petrusa pops bottles. Yeah. Lysander. Okay, plus I'm one out. plus one fortune point. Uh Luciana plus two fortune points. Freya plus two fortune points. Einar plus one fortune point. Baron plus two fortune points. And Petrusa plus two fortune points. Two points for anyone who either helped or in the Baron's case did the thing that's very much against the player's nature. <laughs> But not the characters. Nope. Okay. You make it into the Redwoods. The music's not changing because this entire island would like to kill. What would you do now? You make it into the Redwoods and you hear the clonk, 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 creak sound of giant trees. Then you hear a lot of animal noises. Roll survival, Einar. Oh, and yeah, now that I'm rolling survival again. I need to remember that I am born wild, which means I reduce difficulty uh, by one step for any survival check. All right. Roll it anyways. Can I assist him with survival? Probably won't be necessary. (laughs) Yep. So while Freya says, this will hurt, and digs into your wounds, you listen and you're like, cougars. Grizzly bears, wolves, Thanks. snakes. Yeah. This forest is full of everything that likes to kill you. Does I also get the healings or no? Uh, give me my bag. You floored it, right? <laughs> What'd you say, Freya? So, Florida, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Except no alligators. I said there's a distinct lack of giant lizards. It's very much like Northern California, actually. The parts where people don't live. No. Uh, so, go ahead and we're just going to say you do This Will Hurt and a little to ease the pain. And then give me, who all is hurt? Me? Einar. <laughs> Pretty badly. Lysander, actually. did you take new injuries in that fight? No, I'm all good, homie. So you need three, Freya. One for yourself, one for our uh, Einar, and one for Luciana. I've got two wounds. Yep. Okay, rolls. Yeah, you got a lot more to take. 
I have one vigor left. Now that resets as soon as you exit the fight. Oh, okay. Am I doing fortune points or rolls? Sorry. Rolling medicine or healing. Oh, yes. Just do one at a time so we can figure out what the effect is. What? So, Jesus. with this will hurt a little to numb the pain and the fact that you're an herbalist. Uh, those actually both succeeded. Roll two more d20s. <laughs> Two's is always zoom out when I click on a box. Those 14, re-roll those. Well, re-roll one. The 14 actually succeeds. Because you can re-roll failures. 15. Okay, three successes. So, that will heal one wound on what person choose your target. Yourself, Einar, or Luciana. I'm gonna go for Einar. Okay, that's all you can I, I... get. That's all you can get from this use, Einar, but still, one's, one's better than two. I have, I have I a reason some, though. Uh, I take some Is resolve your, damage, right? Feel bad for him. Yeah, you take uh, five minus your courage, which you actually have courage. We just know oh, we pretend you don't. Oh, yes, I you do, do because you have I, courage equal to your discipline ranks or discipline feats. I do. do yes, do we just oh. pretend you don't because it's in character. Oh, so you just made it zero just because? <laughs> yes, you actually have two, so you take three. Oh, All right, Freya, tell him why. Because I attempted to save this guy from the vines, only to not succeed. I don't want that to be in vain. I'm going to heal this guy so he doesn't die. <laughs> Just because. So it is is the goop the same, or is it differently gross this time? Oh, it's differently gross. Is it the same gross or new gross? It's a new gross. Okay, once we do the rolls, please describe. So roll the next one. How do you get, um... Oh, Where's nice. Jesus? Whoa! Roll two more nice. d20s. Wow. How do you get resolve back? It's it'll re it'll end it it'll restore itself at the end of the scene. Cool. Vigor and resolve come back at the end of the scene, but because you're taking this resolve damage at this scene, it's not going away. 21, that's a 19 and a 2. Reroll one d20. That is eight successes total. You are able to use that roll to remove a wound from both yourself and Luciana. Yay! Awesome. Thank you. And like I said, and your I only... your your vigor has reset. Oh, sweet. Now, yes. Also, one more roll because you're in a forest and you can try to recover some of those uses you're blowing with your thoughts. Yes, I've got eight. Um, do I still roll healing or do I roll yep, something? Yep, one more healing? time for the healing. Okay. Yeah, herbalism is just a straight healing. Zero. Ooh. And then. And uh, there's a 20. Yeah, you can reroll both of those because you have the perk talent. 31. 15's a success. So, yes, you don't recover a full recharge, but you get part of one, which is useful. Now, please describe the new grossness. Mm. So, Einar's grossness, and Luciana's grossness, and my grossness are all the same grossness. I start out with this frog, this dried frog that I pulled out of nowhere, it seems. And I start grinding up this whole frog in the, the mortar and pestle. Is it alive? No, it's dried. Oh. It's... it's it's like a frog jerky, if you will. Okay. So then, she takes what looks like might be salt. Who knows? Sprinkles it all over the frog. Grinds it up some more. Dips her finger in. Not done yet. She takes... A little bit of this liquid that might be blood. It might not. No one's really sure. Pours it in the pestle. And then last but not least, takes out this crazy looking blue flower. Puts it in the pestle, grinds it all up. And it makes this slurp sound as the pestle goes round and round like... <laughs> 
I love it. Oh my. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells kind of like a skunk combined with rotting fish. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, so it smells like this. Einar. Yeah, I've, 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 I've probably woken up in places that smell better than that. <laughs> or smell worse. Well, after this mixture is is all mixed up and everything, it's kind of like a baby diaper green, you know, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. like baby poop green, you know, when you open the diaper and the, there's, you know, like that too much iron in the diet. Good to know. <laughs> or too much licorice. <laughs> <laughs> so she takes this mixture and she shoves a spoonful in Einar's mouth, a spoonful in Luciana's mouth, a spoonful in her own mouth. Damn. You start moving Perfect. quickly and quietly through the forest at this point. Baron, please roll a stealth for the party. Einar, please roll a survival for the party. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. As we're walking, Luciana goes up to uh, to Freya, and, and she's like, Freya, I have this joke that I've been thinking about for a while, and I, I really feel like I need to tell you this. You don't need to wait to roll. Go ahead. I'm going to use a force point. Okay. What? <laughs> what do you call a Vorheimen who doesn't eat meat? A Norvegian! Ah! Uh, it's a Norvegian! Yes! Oh, shut up. It was funny. I hate you. And she just walks away. <laughs> what is a vegan? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I did. Oh, I didn't see yours. Click it again. There it goes. Don't eat meat. Uh, you can reroll that 17 because you're born wild. Oh no, you just removed the difficulty. Right. So you actually did okay. So. Well, and I used a fortune point just to make it super awesome. You avoid a wolf pack that would have eaten your faces. Hey. Oh, okay. Thank I you. For another but after a few miles of trekking inland, the Baron prevents everyone from being assaulted by a grizzly bear that you almost walked right up to. Ooh. Good, also, good. thank you for that. Several miles later, you're feeling better. You're almost out of the redwoods. Two saber-toothed tigers get to drop on you. One, one lands behind the party and one in front. Returning to the same initiative. Oh, it's always... Uh, I'm first. Okay. <laughs> yes, I spent more doom to make you fight an animal. Go, Anar! Uh, Alright. Time for some ranged business. Yeah, they're both close, but they're not... I'm sorry, they're both short, but not close. So you'll be okay. It's okay. Alright, uh... Minor action to gain my one momentum. For the attack. These tigers, by the way, for reference, are about five and a half feet tall. They're about eight feet long. And when they lift their head, they're probably as tall as Lysander. And their teeth are about the length of your face. The two big ones. They're white with black stripes and they look resolved. Just looking at them scares you. They're pretty. Their growl is like a tiger, but terrifying. Shoot it in the face. Shoot it in the face. I need you to shoot it in the yes. face. Yes. Three successes, and... I'll use that momentum for an extra damage die. So here's damage. And I can also re-roll my damage dies. Up to f one, two. I think I can re-roll four of them, if I'm correct. Yes, I can re-roll four. Do I need to re-roll four? I do. I will re-roll three of them. Actually, why don't we just say four for that extra one? So that's ooh, six six two lots of damage how much 
Uh, a six, a six, Whoa. a two, a one eagle, and a one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight damage plus uh, your weapon enhancements kick in. Enough to cover all of them. Uh, so that's piercing one. Okay. Or wait, does so does vo no volley only kicks off if I spend a load. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You hit it right in a tendon. It roars. More enraged than pain, though. Oh. Oh, well. Good. Okay. You did not kill it. Well, I, I, I didn't think I would, but... Okay. <laughs> Good shot, though. Uh, Petrusa. What is this thing? I'm sorry. Two saber, two tigers. Two saber, Just two Just like tigers. in Conan Exiles. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Okay. Um... I have an idea. You can only hit one of them because they're behind and in front of the party. Oh, since I didn't say, I would have shot the one in front of me. Okay. You're in the front because you're the scout, so that's the front one. Okay. Um... So I think I want to pull out for the first time my charm of Mitra. Okay. Yep. And uh, FYI, that doesn't work anyways. Because you have to be able to give them orders, unless you have animal handling. Mm. You have to be I, able the, the the charming thing. You have to be able to tell it what you want it to do, and it has to understand you. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, I see. Okay, that's the skill you're rolling to do the thing. Mm, shoot. Okay. Huh. Never mind the disregard. I shoot with crossbow. Okay. Which one are you shooting? Everyone you've been hurting one? Yep. Yes. Dwayne yeah. just shot one. Yeah, let's yeah. focus let's focus fire one, take it out, and yeah. Uh so Yeah, I'll uh, I'll use one load and um volley into it. Okay. Uh one success on a natural one. Roll damage. So, using the load though, doesn't that become two success? Uh, anyway. Oh, using you're using load. Yeah. You Wait, have to roll more d twenties. Yeah, if you're using volley, you get to add add a d twenty and then add one more damage die as well. Or, yes. Okay, the second one doesn't hit. Hit roll do damage it. and then roll another d six. Piercing kicks in. Ew. Nice. Becomes six damage. That one looks horribly wounded, but it's not quite dead. Jeez. Saber tooth tigers are puffed, tough and minions, yes. Jeez. Okay. Ferreya. I think I'll ask this one a question. Which one? Behind or in front? Eh, whichever one's got the most damage for now. That's the one in front. Roll it. Roll damage. Eee. Let me click you. Oh, do we oh, also add an enhancement for Steve's roll? Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, that is so much damage. That one is now dead. You have yes. packed into it with the arrows. Freya. Oh, absolutely. Holy Jesus. Freya just <laughs> takes her axe and goes, ah! and smacks it right square in the forehead. Oh Holy shit. Luciana. Impressive eight, roll. 10, 11. Luciana, Luciana it's almost your turn, one. except I spend doom to interrupt you as the third saber tooth launches itself into the middle of the party from the shadows. Uh, oh, oh my god. god. That's, that's fine. 
This works out great. Sean will tell you it's exactly how it would work in the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. The, 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 quiet fine res the, the quiet, reserved just nod of Sean. Just like, yeah. That's, that's... Oh, Cle shit. There was a third one. Should have. Clever just... girl. There's so, always a fucking third let's one. Let's see. I'm going to roll this d6 and then count based on. So. Ray one, Trusa two, Lysander three, Baron four, Luciana five. Nope, I'm done fucking up Pioneer. Let's try that again. Okay. No, no, no. Then no. <laughs> no, I keep going. Let's see. That, how that this seems. Is that no, seems about don't right. Actually, kill the fucking scout in the middle of the wilderness. Dad. Don't fudge the dice. That seems about right. Actually, I, I am in the front. Too, too. And yeah, it's in the blood. middle of the party. I mean, just so long as the Baron gets the last hit on him. It hits. It hits Petrusa, and it fling and it, it it lands on Petrusa, and then it bats him with its paw and flings him backwards into a tree. Ooh, he hits ow. the tree, and it makes a weird squish poof noise, and this miasma of green shit comes floating out of it, and covers the whole party. Oh my god! <laughs> so, range medium. Uh, you immediately start feeling fatigue and a horrible headache, and your eyes go bloodshot. You're starting to feel slightly delirious just from breathing this. Oh, we're high! These are called death trees. <laughs> Good. Fuck you, Conan. <laughs> so, are you telling me we just did Ellis Tree? Yes. Oh my Ooh. god. And it was a bad hit. Oh. It's all laced with all kinds of shit. Man, that ruins my plan. Oh. Disappointed. Oh, damn. Well, if it makes you feel better, Einar, I rolled damage on you first. What's your courage? Two? Yeah, you take seven resolve damage and a mental condition. Jeez. Yeah, the dice don't really want to kill you today. You said seven? Yeah. What's your courage, Baron? Zero. Okay, you take three resolve. What's your courage, Luciana? Two. Yeah, using this one on you. You take two resolve. Yeah, seven resolve INR and a uh, mental trauma. Right. Cheers, Freya. What was that again? Sorry, I was taking your resolve. <laughs> your, your courage. My courage is one. You take four resolve damage. Oof. Oh, yeah, this one's juicy. All right, give me that awesome uh, courage, Petrusi. You're going to need it. F3. You take five resolve damage and a trauma. Um, Lysander! Do I. Question. Do I have a resolve back from being healed on the beach? Yes, those reset before you okay. went into the woods with the tigers. Perfect. Perfect. How much courage right. do you have? I have one courage. You take four resolve damage. Okay. Perfect. I don't have to change anything because I've taken four resolve damage. <laughs> Also, what's your armor, Petrusa? Um, two. You only take one vigor damage, but you're pinned, and it's going to try to eviscerate you with uh, rant with rake. But not this turn. All right, Luciana, now it's your turn. I want to scream at the tiger attacking the priest and intimidate it to stop. You terrify most Fight of the party, you. but the tiger is unimpressed. It's immune to that. Oh, you didn't let me finish. I know. You cannot demoralize these saber-toothed tigers. It's in their power I wasn't list. trying to demoralize. I was trying to use animal handling. And I wanted to use two fortune points to use animal handling to get the thing to stop. So we could have, like, a rapport and, be like, and you will need hey, 10 successes the other one and you get free food you will need 10 successes okay. to even get a chance okay I'm gonna three try fortune anyway. points only gives you six well I have two so that's four yep I'm, I'm gonna try this <laughs> I think it's still this. I think it's literally impossible <laughs> yeah it's literally impossible you don't have enough dice you I got can't. one <laughs> I got fun halfway there. Okay. <laughs> Lysander. 
uh, disappointed. I distracted it. <laughs> disappointed my first mate didn't cleave the tiger in half. I know. Uh, Probably could have one shot to one. Do something cool. I'm sorry. I I will uh, stab <laughs> the tiger pinning the priest. Okay. Yeah. Again, that's what she tried to talk to the one see. pinning the priest. It's people get her. It's just like, yeah. oh, you smell yummy. In, For anyone in who Saber sees it. It looks like my hand is once again wrapping around the hilt of the sword as opposed to holding it, but that huh? must be a trick of the light. And I will stab. Okay. What the fuck is going on with your hand, bro? Nothing. <laughs> Two successes. Okay, roll damage. Click. Click. Oh, look at that. What's, yeah. your, what's your weapon special effects? Vicious. Uh, go ahead and roll another d6 for that enhancement. Punch it. Punch it in the A face. six! Ooh. Yeah, you wound it badly, but it's not dead. dead. Baron. Um, <clears throat> the one on the priest is badly injured. The one behind the party that's about to try to eat Freya is not injured at all. Cool. Baron's an opportunist, so he's going to shoot the one that's almost dead. Yep. Unless, you know, one of the crew members is slightly in the way. It has not. No, the crew members are actually kind of scattered and haven't been attacked yet. Oh, that's a shame. I know, it's a shame. Yeah, you don't, don't worry. Accidentally. I don't think Patty's getting one. out of here with any crew that's attacked, so it's okay. Think of it this way, oh. Patty. All your crew have one instant resurrection. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I, I'll, I will literally have a crew of the damned now. Baron, roll damage. What's the weapon Anakin? quality? Does it have piercing? It has unforgiving. Unforgiving. 9, 10, Anakin, 11, Anakin. 12, 13. That one collapses on top of uh, Petrusa, who immediately says, I can't breathe. And then the last one decides that it would like to eat Freya's face because it gives no fucks. It's the only one left. It has no fucks to give. Oh shit, I forgot to do something on my turn. What was it? I was going to take the scarf that I wear in my head and wrap it around my face so that the mist might be... Oh, allow it! Faded. Okay. Freya, how much armor you got? Three? Yeah. You take five bigger damage in a wound. Also, it's tackled you to the ground and is pinning you. That's fun. Uh All right, Ar. One left. Uh, all right. So we have seven momentum. Can I use one? At yes, the end of the night, please. no one's gonna stop you. Nope. Use it all. Kill this thing. In the last oh. fight, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll use two then. I'll just I'll just use two. <coughs> it it might work out cool. Hell uh, with fire. So, two from the pool. My marksman gives me an extra one. Yep. That's four. Or no. Yeah, you can't do more than four. It's three. So you're, yeah. You can still roll your normal roll. Yeah. Shout out to Snipes262 for the subscription! Woo! Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use two of them to call the shot, headshot. Thank you, Snipes! Done, roll it. Snipe this fucking saber tooth tiger, bruh. He's about to. He didn't call a uh -oh. shot. He might pull it off. Roll damage. Ooh, roll two more, uh, three more d sixes. Oh yeah, that's right. And I get to reroll. Oh, why would I want to reroll any of that? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Straight ones for those wondering on his damage. Wow, that is and then another a one another and a five one and a two. And All right, so you can reroll that five. Roll that. Reroll yeah. that. I will reroll the five. Go for a five. Yeah, right through the eyeball. It just falls dead on Freya. You're all a little impressed with Einar now. Maybe he's useful in the woods. I creep a smile slightly. Oh, you all smile? run, drag, limp, and bleed your way to the edge of the Redwoods to finally hit the base of the mountain range. You see a cave and drag each other into it where you collapse, panting and bleeding for the night. Oh, God. I know you saved me. 
your brushes. What? Uh, huh? I and then like he has a flashback to where someone said that before. Oh no. <laughs> to where he he was trying to kill his his uh, commanding officer and somebody somebody jumped in the way, and the officer was like, "Oh, you saved me." He's like, "Oh, uh, yeah." Yeah, that was what I was trying to do. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Where's my bag? I need my bag. <laughs> ah, dear travelers, I see that you have enjoyed the food and drink we have offered, and the hour grows late as the shadow of night stretches before us. But fear not, we will conclude the tale of this epic saga next week at 9 p.m. EST. But hold fast, for we're not quite into this eve. First, everyone in the group gets to vote for any other player for any reason. Each vote is worth a point of fortune to 25 XP. Your choice. Beginning with Lysander. Sorry, I had a stowaway. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's see. Tonight, I shall give my bonus die, or my, my congratulations. Oh. I will give my award to the Baron for killing off my crew and make me come up with cool names. If it wants to know the new names of the I crew do. members, I do want to hear uh, this. Dondis Dolphin Lover has turned into Callisto the Chaste. All right. Uh, Gorgeous Glenda is now Nasty Nyla. And uh, Iris the Immune is now Viral Venus the Vulnerable. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Freya, who would why? Oh, that just cements it right there. Patty. <laughs> the singing, and then those names right there. I just, yeah. Petrusa. I I mean, everyone's great, I, I promise. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely uh, Lysander tonight with the singing and the pirate names. Just take, just take your... Just take your shit and go. Einar. Oh, <laughs> Einar. Uh, Einar was going to go with Captain. However, he changed his mind when he saw the fighting on the boats, and he is going to go with Luciana for cleaving. Oh. What, you cleaved two down yeah. on the boats? I got two. Yeah. And then. It's badass. And then you saved. Or no, it was Petrusa that saved me from the vines. But nevertheless, mm. you were you were cleaving a, a good cleaving today. Aww, Baron. Uh, uh, so the Baron would likely give it to Lysander for nearly dying, but he's willing to offer. He's <laughs> willing to make a trade for that if he gives. The vote to Lysander. Will Lysander give him a third of the profits? Uh, Seven and uh, a half XP? No, not Lysander. Sorry, Einhar. Einhar nearly died. <clears throat> and he, he wants a third of that XP. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. No. So what is. What is <laughs> Einhar uh... needs all the XP he can get. <laughs> you can still get my vote, anyways. <clears throat> Luciana. Luciana is going to vote for, um, oh crap, name just escaped me, Patrusa, there we go, uh, Patrusa gets the vote, cause like, doing the thing, and then like, oh, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> Okay. Um, Can't believe that worked. Yeah. A rare thing is going yeah, to happen. Just like, <laughs> the DM is intervening. The singing's a whole new level. And going against type is a whole new level. So the DM is awarding a point to both Lysander and the Baron. Like Strongly different varying uh, things, yes. Thank you, me hearty. Reavers, now Slayers, is... Pirates, and Champions. Tell us what future glories await you next week. What shows can people find you in next? And where do you lurk on the internet? Uh, at Space Lord PJs can be found on Monday 
in the mage game, uh, exploding stuff, which is always fun. Um, then on Tuesday, we're playing Scion. He is the flippy shit luchador. And then Thursdays, we're running Starfinder, figure out all the production problems. So that next episode is going to be great. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> also, check out our site, website, verpatales.com, please. And once they got going, that. That, that episode was pretty cool. That's what I hear. I got to fix the overlay. <clears throat> I'm Dwayne. Uh, you guys can find me at Made of Kimchi on the internet. Uh, to see when's the next time you guys will see me. Tuesday, playing Scion as uh, Takahiro. And then Thursday for Starfinder. And again, back here on Friday for Einar the Doing Better. <laughs> I am Patrick. Everyone on the internet, I am Patty Shakes. Uh, the next time you'll see me will be uh, Wednesday for Hunter the Vigil. Uh, look out for October 6th, the start of Mad Mage on this channel. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. I'll be running it as the, as the DM. A lot of the people in this call, in this session, are going to be in that game as well. You should totally check it out. It's going to be an amazing time. There will be awesome. It's going to be hijinks. It's going to be dungeon crawls. It's going to be amazing. Uh, also, check out my Twitch channel myself, Patty Shakes underscore. I will be hosting a DM session tomorrow uh, where I will be going over some uh, DM things, giving tips, tricks, and just talking and, uh, you know, general stuffery. Mm, stuffery. Hi, so I'm Pinky underscore on Twitter. Uh, you can find me here every Friday night playing Luciana the Red. I'm uh, coming up. I'm going to be part of the Tuesday game, Mad Mage, starting the awesome DM, Patty. You guys are going to meet my quirky, other quirky character. I have a few of them, I guess. I have a thing. I'm sorry. I have a type. I can't help it. Um, but yeah, uh, lots of craziness is going to ensue. You guys should definitely check out uh, Monday's game. It is hilarious and lots of spooky, spooky woos and funniness and... I might just be there in the chat poking holes and theories and stuff. You should, you should check it out. It's awesome. And last, but possibly also not the least. most least. No, no, definitely not the least. Set no. That. <laughs> I will fight you. I don't have an argument to that. Exactly. <laughs> you're gonna accept. You're gonna accept the love, and you're gonna like it. Okay. <laughs> so, I am ever, and you can find me as Changeling Ever, and I will be here on Monday. I'll be here on Tuesday. I'll be here on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So, uh, you really can't get rid of me. Um, you're trapped, doomed. Forever, ever. You, yeah, exactly. Forever, ever. And uh, oh god, you can, <laughs> forever, ever. You can haunt me back. It's cool. Find me on Twitter and Instas and and whatnot. But other than that, you'll find me running the Vorpal Tales uh, social medias mostly. And I am Eldritch Echoes. I will be running Mage of the Ascension Technocracy Reloaded on Monday, Scion Demigod on Tuesday, Hunter the Vigil on Wednesday. And this game again on Friday. On October 6th, 6, Patty will begin Dungeon of the Mad Mage on Tuesdays. On September 27th, we begin broadcasting on Sundays. Our own Eric will be running Dune. We'll be using Coriolis until the full game from Odiphius is out, and we'll be switching to that. And then in early October, we'll be beginning Dark Horror Stories on Friday, starting with Cult. And then on Mondays and Wednesdays, we'll be switching to Halloween themes for the Contagion Chronicle and Geist Sin Eaters for a hauntingly good tale. Come check them all out. Remember, follow us on Twitch. Like and leave comments. Join our Discord. The link can be found on our website. Hang out with us. And if so inclined, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash tales. All your support in any form, even just follows, helps us keep this going. But for now, let us all drift off to slumber to dream of jeweled cities and forgotten treasures until next week when we will return for more tales of sorcery and high adventure in ancient Hyboria. Until then, good night.